Hello and welcome to the stream today everybody, I'm PCJ Law from twitch.tv forward slash PCJLaw and in today's game we are playing as Carthage. I believe it's the first time we've played as Carthage, uh, the second time we've played as Carthage on the YouTube channel, now I remember. Carthage was something like Dare to Game 3 or 5 or something like that. But we are back as Carthage today because we played another 40 or so Dare to Games since then. And Carthage are relatively mediocre, if I may say so, but they have one ability which is quite handy which is this Phoenician heritage. All coastal cities get a free harbour. Units may cross mountains after the first great general is earned, taking 50 HP of damage if they end a turn on a mountain. It's quite useful. I mean, we're not going to get a great general, probably, so we're probably not going to be able to cross mountains. But all coastal cities getting a free harbour is actually quite nice. It's immediate city connections, which means immediate gold per turn from city connections. Which is really good. We won't have to build roads between coastal cities. We will for the movement, but we won't have to rush for the rush for the roads like you might want to do with any other sieve. We'll get the gold straight away. And harbors are a really expensive building to get built, which means that getting them for free without having to put any production in is great. We are on fractal map, small map size, dirty difficulty, and quick game pace. Other things about Carthage. I've got to remember now, actually, because I forget a lot of what the Carthage has. Carthage has a unique naval unit. It's called the Quinquarim. And this is the one, is this one that, it's a strong ancient era naval unit used to dominate the seas through melee attacks. Okay, yeah, so this Quinquarim just appears to be a stronger version of a Triarine. It's alright, I guess. It's not particularly, it's not like Byzantium's Droman, which is a ranged attack ship. This is just another melee ship. But it appears to be stronger than the Triarine, which it replaces, which... I can confirm it's true. It's, it's in fact a good 30% stronger. So it's a really heavy hitter. But unfortunately, triremes are triremes, I guess. I don't know. Maybe Queen Kareem spam might take a city. But yeah, yeah, who knows. And then they also have a unique... Is it a knight replacement? No. Where is this thing? They've got a, a an elephant thing. But oh, Darkario W just subscribed for five months. Darkario W, thank you very much for the generous subscription. And welcome to the stream today. Let's try to find this unit unit now. Where's it gone? I know I know they've got one. Ah, oh, here it is. It is the African Forest Elephant. So it's what is it? It's weak to the spearman. It's got a higher combat strength than the horseman it replaces and strikes fear into nearby enemy units. I guess it's got feared elephant. So it's a stronger horseman. I guess it's okay. Doesn't really do a lot. What does this fear promotion do? Feared elephant. Enemy units receive minus 10% combat strength when adjacent to any unit with this promotion. Okay, so it reduces enemy unit combat strength and then is also stronger than the horseman it replaces. Eh, it's okay, I guess. We're not, horsemen don't really see a lot of use on deity. Nor nor do triremes. I mean, triremes don't see a lot of use regularly. But, but Carthage is really all about the free harbour anyway. So we're going to try and make some use of that. But it says, hope that you've got Rome and some mountains in, in this game so that you can get that Carthage achievement. That, that would be true. That would be kind of good to get. We'll see. We'll see if we do get it. Anyway, we need to scout this area. Move over here. And then maybe we go out here. Ah, uh, we didn't see anything. So we just wanted to check to see where we should move. There doesn't really seem to be... I was discussing with chat right before we started the recording. Like, what, what should we do here? Should we move onto a hill or should we stay put? And looking at this, I feel like we should probably just stay put. There's no real thing telling me to move. We could move on to the hill, but the reason to move on to the hill would be to, with, for the starting hill production and then to get another civil service farm tile down here. But if we move on to the hill, we lose the ability to build a water mill. And we lose the ability to get a garden. And we actually lose having the sheep within our first ring. And we lose what is quite good settler production from this spot. And settler production from this spot is a lot tougher because we don't automatically get so many hills within range of the city. So what I think we're going to do is just settle in place. No need to move. We can go for production focus to enable the production focus trick. But we'll work the cotton because we have to work a two food tile to start. We'll grab one scout. We Should we do pottery? Or do we do animal husbandry for horses? Hmm. I don't know. We're going to start with a shrine, I guess, or pottery and see what comes up. I don't go shrine enough, so we're going to try going for pottery today. There's another fish down there, which will have to get captured by an expansion. And a whale's down there. Oh, the Banja Crater. Oh, perfect. Well, here we go. 
We have an expansion right down here. Apparently, our regional luxury is Wales, and we can settle a fish, another copy of the regional luxury, settle an observatory city next to the Barringer Crater, and on a hill by going right here. So that is exactly what we're going to do. It's even on a river, which is perfect. And hey, we got the happiness boost from finding an actual wonder so early on too. And there's our first ruin. Ah, oh, the city here will even get wheat. That's brilliant. And it's another coastal city, which is what we wanted. Let's take the ruin. Uh, we should leave the ruin for a turn because it might be a pop ruin. And if it is, it would be totally wasted. So let's leave it for one turn and grab another scout. Since it looks like there is land. There's Kiev. Since it looks like there is land, we we can probably go for another scout and be happy about it. And then we'll grow to the sheep. And we actually have a cattle up here. We want to work that cattle as soon as we possibly can. Costa says, nice. I, I get to see how you play coastal luxes on Deity. Yeah, it's not often. Fingers crossed for no city state. That's true, actually. Fortunately, we didn't see one. Does Barringer count as a mountain? Uh, I, I think most of them do count as mountains for the purposes of the observatory. We'll have to check, actually. We will actually have to check. I don't remember mountain most of the natural wonders do though any of them that look sort of mountain ish so we'll, we'll figure it out yeah it does says danish viking thanks also welcome to the stream but yeah i do hope i mean a city state doesn't claim it so that's good and we've got kiev next door a neutral cultural city state which is absolutely perfect yes for an observatory no for machu picchu yeah i agree yeah so most of them count as observatories most of them count for observatories, but not all of them count as Machu Picchu cities. Because Machu Picchu, like anything with like a hole in the top, obviously can't have Machu Picchu built on top of it. And generally the game actually respects that. See if we can get a little bit more gold, maybe from eating one more city-state. Oh, Babo says, sadly I've got to go again. See you soon, mate. Alright, see you later, Babo. Thanks for joining today. OJB oh, says, nice. If we get a great general, we'll be able to cross the crater. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's true, we will. I don't know how, how I'm feeling about that. Let's see if this is pop. Culture. Oh, so, uh, culture will do. Culture will do. I don't really want to work a flat two food tile now. We're just going to try and buy our way out to the cattle as soon as we can. And we only see two luxury resources right now. There is... Really... Oh, hang on. Some things are regional luxury. And I don't know if it's cotton or whales, but we got a ton of both. There is another city up here, though. <laughs> For sure. The good thing is the mountain tile makes the city more defensive. It it does. But we're not really worried about war for a southern tundra city. You want to worry about war on contested borders. And southern tundra cities don't tend to have very many contested borders. But yeah, we don't really want to work a flat two food tile right now. Normally I would advise it, but because we're going to go get ourselves this cattle soon, there really is no point to doing it. And because we got a culture room, we can go and take tradition straight away. We only see two luxuries, so there is literally no point in taking liberty. I mean, there wouldn't be anyway. Fractal maps tend to be a little bit islandy from time to time. Oh, desert. Cotton's our original luxury. Maybe. Maybe we're sort of in the intersection of a double regional with Wales on one side and cotton on the other. But that's okay. We've got quite a few trades. Any city we found here, we have to make sure tries to grab the fish. And I'm pretty sure we can go on top of the cotton right here to grab it. I don't really want to go here. Gives up too many tiles. But if we go here, we get a decent amount of this river as well, which is quite important. Yeah, I took the, I took the policy of edge, thanks. Animal husbandry next. I guess we can go for a shrine. We don't need a monument because we've already opened tradition. Maybe Sweden sneaks up on Baron Crater. That would be funny. This is a lot of bad tundra though, so I'm not really expecting any any AIs to be there. Oh, really? Korea? Are you sure? Really? Korea's going to go there as well. What? Where does he come from? Maybe it's two cities and then war. <laughs> Get wrecked, I know. This is my experience of Fractal 99% of the time. Yeah, this is a bit... I love, where, where has he come from? He's just yeeted himself all the way down here. I mean, maybe we, we will be using this unique horse unit after all. We'll wait for our borders to grow here and then we'll buy the... Buy the, buy the cattle. AI cheats. Yeah, nice. He settles the flatland, I know. Like, what is this? 
He just come flying over here and just settled Busan. Ruin. Oh, pop. Nice. Oh, there we go. Uh, well, we can probably still can grow. Or do we build a settler soon? That might be a starting settler then. Oh, if it's Busan, I forget what number city Busan is. We should be able to grow again. I mean, we'll check. Even worse than getting denounced on turn six, says Crankaduke. I know. It's a bit weird. I mean, Busan's in a good spot. I, w I would take it. Need to make or steal a worker as well. Yeah, we will. Four tiles away, I know. We might have to actually sort of secure ourselves some tiles here. We'll get the bison though, and then we'll figure it out. Let's see what's going on. Oh, there's Sol. Okay. I guess it is a starting settler. Costa says, I love this game. <laughs> Lol, yeah. Well, Korea's got salt. So I guess we're going two cities and we're taking some of these. I guess. Seems reasonable. Well, how long until we grow? Nine turns is good enough, I think. AI settling four times for my cap is the single thing I hate most about deity. Yeah. Seems about right. We probably should just get building settlers straight away. If only we could nick one of these workers. But they're not exposed enough right now. Take oligarchy. You can check under trade with cities with Korea. No, this is this appears to be his first settler or something. Free workers. Yeah, if we can grab them. But we might try and kill him. I mean, I want to. So, I guess. Oh, nice. An unexpected deer down here is good. I think you can steal a worker when it comes to Busan. I agree. We'll try and steal what we can off Busan. This salt is nice in Seoul, though. Wow. Another city-state down there. Yeah, there's nothing south of, of the tundra. Let's just get our settler out. Because we've actually got a good settler building. Here. Eight turns is fine. Need to secure some contested tiles. Two cities and combo chariots to get Busan and Seoul. I think I agree. Uh, that, that is what I want to do for sure. Oh, there's one. And we could take this one as well and try and get away. We, it, would be, it would be tough to get away though. So we can maybe just wait a moment here. To get this worker. Because it's going to take a couple of turns to improve the tiles anyway. There is a city state down here that I wanted to meet. Let's see, Busan is five tiles from Seoul and four from Carthage. Yeah. Cassus Belly. Was that Cassus Belly if I've ever seen one? I oh, know. In my opinion, Busan is never worth the unhappiness unless it has Petra. Better make your own city on top of its ruins. Yeah, I mean, the problem is, is that if you make your own city, it gets founded quite late. Well, I'll probably just hold it. Bandra Crater doesn't give you happiness. No, it gives you defense. Pointless. Okay. If the worker stays there, that's a good spot to steal it. Let's see if it does stay there. And let's get back to defend our settler. Busan is at least Riverside. Yeah, I would raise Busan too. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, replanting our own coastal city would be quite nice. I haven't decided what I want to do with it yet. See if we can get a good steal in here. There's a warrior inside. Will we die if we get hit by the warrior and the city? Probably. I'll give it maybe one more turn. And then we need calendar to improve luxes. Yeah. Let's try and steal a worker from Kiev. Oh, I waited a bit too long there. He's actually run away for some reason. Exclusive continent. It does look like it. There, come out for the cotton. That's where we can get it. And Banza Congo. Hello. I want this worker to come back down here. Oh, it's a settler. Where's the settler going to go? That's perfect. What you what unique unit from the city state? Mohawk warrior. 
Not that great, really. Come on, worker. Come out to the cotton. Oh, the settler's not exposed anymore. Is it coming for our spot? I guess I should have known that it wasn't going to stay exposed for long. And grow quickly. How long is it going to be? Five turns? One, two. We're going to go unhappy. I mean, it would be nice to grow this city before we settle. Need a work boat. Need a worker. And a pantheon to found. I mean, it's turn 19. We don't have a lot, if I'm honest. It might just be God King. This is quite an interesting start. Yeah, I should have grabbed the settler. I didn't realize that it was going to get a garrison. My bad. Faith of Natural Wonders is kind of pointless because we don't really... I mean, we could work the Barringer Crater, but I don't want to work it for very long in this city. It feels bad. Banana, citrus, and wheat. Have we got any food pantheons? Food from camps? We've barely got a camp. I don't want fishing boat production, so I guess it is. Just God King. It'll do. Three monuments. We have calendar now. Time to take bronze working, I guess, for some iron. Where's he going? Is he going to settle here? Let's just try and stand on the set, on the spot he wants. <laughs> he is. He's coming for our spot. Wow. I'm glad we didn't wait to grow. Jeez. All right. I'm just going to have to work a 1-1 one, one tile for now. Then get a granary. So when, when are his workers going to expose themselves? It's the next, oh, here we go. Oh, man, really? Try and get a worker steal. Don't really need to grow yet, do we? Still one turn. That's fine. I'm waiting for him to come out for this cotton. There's a worker available here. Yeah, I know. Faith healers. I, I wouldn't have really gone for faith healers. We can grab a couple of workers this turn, though. This one right here seems like a good choice. And then we can also take Kiev's worker. We'll just peace Kiev. I don't want to take the damage from them. Kiev. And then we can have this worker as well. We grew in Carthage so we can work production. We need to do that. That's fine. We're not going to get bombarded by the city. Oh, oh man. Oh dear. There's the settler. <laughs> oh, we're probably going to lose that straight away. Oh, well, well. We tried. Can we peace? <laughs> no. Okay, fine. And then I guess it's a... We need fishing boats. So we go for sailing. Could it be another worker? Maybe. Is it this? We, we need cargo ships as well. So I guess it's a granary for now. Since we've stolen a worker. Stolen a couple of workers and we built one. Need to get happy. Yeah, we did lose that. But I guess we converted a settler to a worker. Which is a bit amusing. I guess I should have known that that was going to be a terrible idea. But we can lurk and see if we can get anything else. And try and get happy. Yeah, oh dear, it's a GB. I oh, know, it's, it's, it's alright. We need nine gold. To get this wheat for Utique. Okay, we're happy again. And it's shopping out the granary. Uh, the worker can come to the capital. There's no need to be anywhere special. See if we can pinch an, a worker on, on this cotton if possible. We're not culture growing to the correct stuff. We can take landed elite right now. 
And now we've got sailing. We need a work boat. And in Utique, we need a cargo when it's available. And in here, I guess we need to just get a 2 1 tile going. And in the cap, we can improve the sheep. His settler became his worker but converted it back since he took it again. Is that what happens? I thought once it gets converted, it's gone. Is it not true? Do we need optics? I guess we can go optics before doing chariots. We, we, we don't actually have horses, so we'll have to combo him. Oh, it became your worker, yeah. See if we can nick anything else. See if he's willing to peace. Oh, that's painful for the scout. Get out of there. Has that got a plantation on it? It doesn't. He's just golden aging. He will peace. Workers don't convert back to settlers, only barb captures. Yeah, that's what I thought. Free XP for the scout. It's true. Scout did just get a bunch of XP. And can we? We can buy this wheat now, which I'm going to. Finish the granary. We now need a cargo. We need to grab a cargo in Carthage too at some point. Just wait here. See what comes up. Actually need to come back for a moment. We even got this fourth ring cotton out there. It's kind of funny. All right. We can start growing. Got a city growth in Utique. And we need to go for this other cargo ship. And then we can... I mean, things are a little bit dicey here, but it's okay. And then I want... Do we, do we just peace now? I wanted to try and get another worker. But they don't appear to be coming near us. But while he's not threatening any of our stuff, there's no need to peace. So I'm not going to do it. And three workers for these couple of cities should be fine. Because we can double cargo these cities and then go to war with combos. Check his wonders if he's got Petra or anything good. He's just built the Parthenon. So not particularly good, but... Let's come out and get this castle improved now. It's a good tile. So we want it. And a lighthouse would be handy. And now we go back for composite bowmen. I think. I mean, writing first maybe, and then we can go for it. We don't have a lot of gold, so we're going to have to build all the composite bowmen we want. But let's see. We don't have any iron either. No horses sucks because chariots are quite good. Get a production tile up. See if we can get a worker anywhere. Not really... Not really got much luck with the, with the worker steals. I was trying to see if we could get like a... A really good couple of worker steals from Korea. But it doesn't appear to have been the case. Oh, hey, we met Portugal. I guess this isn't a one Civ continent. And we can take survivalism on this scout. I feel like that would be quite useful. Pyramids is gone. Back to growing Carthage. And now we need to look towards archery. To get, I guess, some combo pre-builds in. That's the embassies. Oh, there's Portugal up there. You can most certainly beat him with expos, no doubt. But the question is, at what opportunity costs that it makes you irrelevant? Well, we don't have any land anyway. Two cities is pretty irrelevant. I'm just going to send this to Utique. And then from Utique, we can send back to Carthage. Lighthouse. While we move towards combos, take the wheel. We could do with getting some trades, but there aren't any available with Portugal. Korea's still only on two cities. 
So we've got a decent shot of being relevant against them. I don't really want to improve this this cotton. But we also don't have too much of a choice right now. But yeah, no no land. Like, I'm just pretty sure, unless there is a rule that I did not know about, that same turn recapture is different. Yeah. So, so we've got this tile now, which is nice. And then we can just cargo Carthage. I'm just concentrating on making our tiles actually decent before we do anything. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of, trying to improve the cotton. Portugal's just built a statue of Zeus. But just trying to make cities and tiles decent before we go to war. Especially because we can't actually build combos right now. You take demand salt. That's good. We're trying to get it for you. All right. And now we go for construction. I mean, a couple of archers will be handy. Food to Carthage. A couple of archers would be handy nonetheless. I kind of want this, but I want to be able to upgrade at least a couple of archers. Which I'm pretty sure we can do. The, 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 the upgrade cost to a combo is 55. So if we can get up to 110 gold... Which I feel is quite doable. We can at least get one upgrade. Let's build our archer. There's archer. There it is. Two turns. A couple of quinquinaremes will do as well. And we've established a city connection. Because we're Carthage. We get it instantly. About to grow. But we completed the lighthouse so we can work the fish. I mean, we could work this science here, but I don't really want to. Yeah, turtle ships are annoying. I mean, we need to do combos, yeah. I think I agree. We'll, we'll attempt it. Let's we'll see what we can do. He's still only on two cities, so we've caused him some problems. We've got these nice food tiles that we can work. Let's work the safest ones first. We actually need to get a pre-build in. This archer. Which I think we will do. We'll just build our archers from Carthage. Two turns there. Okay. Does Maria have horses to buy? Good point. She doesn't. Yeah, 22 defense. Oh, to what defense are compos are relevant? About... Just over 2x their combat strength. So right now we'll be able to manage Seoul with walls up. Because it's flat land. It's terracotta, really? Well, I mean, it's warrior spam. And Petra's gone in a faraway land. Man, terracotta. I mean, ter terracotta's not like the worst thing in the world. But it's not, it's not great. I mean, we'll at least take Busan, and that will make him weak to crossbows. Even with the Hawachas. Which is what we're looking for. Do we want to finish another archer? We probably will have enough gold to upgrade it, so I think the answer is yes. You could have had Colossus. There's many, there's many, many different wonders that we could have got that we didn't. All right, and then we need to build some more archers. I mean, all the cities are growing, which is quite good. Start on the archer here. See if we can work on these warriors while they're... <laughs> Lol, Portugal's blocking for us. Let's just go here. We can actually upgrade to a combo. On this one and just keep shooting. 6.7 needed to grow. It's construction done. So I guess we need to move towards philosophy now. I mean a catapult might be handy. If we could get one. That might help. I don't really want to build a catapult though. They're pretty terrible units. But they can work on deity. An African forest elephant would be pretty good. But we don't have any horses. Oh wait we don't need them for the forest elephants do we? No. 
Maybe we can try build some forest elephants. I do want philosophy at some point, though. Okay. Well, I would like to move in and shoot on the same turn. So, why don't we... Gonna move this over here. Oh, there's a caravan over there. Let's see if we can get that. Then we'll wait for the rest of our combos. And we'll probably actually do something like this. Oh, I forgot about the lighthouse that we got over here. It's been going for a couple of turns and I didn't realise. But that's it. Utique's quite good now. If you mouse over the caravan, it shows you the route. You're right, it does. It's going to Kiev. So we'll see if we can get it. I don't know how far it moves. We need the 55 gold to upgrade this unit. Need another whales. We don't have any happiness. Well, let's wait here. It'll come back. Carthage grows. Combo. Uh, don't want a Queen Quinarine yet. A Queen Quinarine would be nice, but we don't need it quite yet. And then I am waiting still for the gold on this archer. I really want to attack the scout. We didn't have that many combos yet. On caravan, where are you go where are you going? Maria's built Colossus. Happiness is getting low. We don't have any trades. Could move in. We go where the warrior is. We can shoot Busan straight away next turn. A couple of African forest elephants would not go miss, but I don't think you need philosophy yet. I mean, I, I, I do kind of agree, really. Where's this caravan going? It's back on the worker again. Oh, is, is it going to go under the scout now? Let's hope it doesn't. Oh, the Carth next population point growth in Carthage is free. And we are about to grow here. Guess we can keep working some food for now. We have grown quite fast. I need another comp bow for the moment. I need a work boat. I really like not building units now, but... Oh, how many we got? We still only got the two. How defended does it look? Pretty undefended, but maybe a bit too much for two comp bows still. I, I was hoping some of these units would come out so they can get taken, but they haven't. There we go. We got that trade route. That means we can upgrade this archer. See if we can get some stuff upgraded for trade. Next pop point is free in the cap, but the next one in Utique isn't. It's kind of rough. We've already got most of our Luxes upgraded. If we got anything, we, we would buy a Lux, but there just isn't one. Might actually have to build a Colosseum. I don't know if these combos would, manage, would be able to kill Korea. I guess so. All right, well, let's go now. Move in onto the hill. Let's put our first damage on the city. Wait a little bit with the melee units. Yeah, UT is going to send us unhappy when it grows. Not a lot we can do, really. I mean, apart from not growing Utique, which I guess we can do, because we don't really want to go unhappy. That is a combat penalty. Avoid growth. We can do this. Still plus nine food, but we're working all the production we can, apart from with the Baron's Crater. So I guess we'll work more hammers. Combo got an instant heal, which we want to use. Let's take out the warrior. 
keep the pressure up on the city. We got Wales for trade. But Portugal's got no Luxes. I would go trapping, but we can't do anything with it. See if we can get some forest elephants. I kind of just need Colosseums now. All right. So we can move in with this one and pillage. Meanwhile, shoot, shoot, shoot. Move in. Carthage grew. Good, more production. Don't need Colosseums. If we get to start a road, we would really just get any luxuries available to trade at all. Some African forest elephants would help us handle whatever Korea's got. Now we can do some damage to this city. Let's move in here and move back here because then both of these can shoot on the same turn. I actually just kind of want to heal this. Should be able to survive. Actually, it might not. It's 18 combat strength now, the city. We can actually just go back to our own land and heal for a moment. I don't know if it's time to move in the melee units yet. Maybe one more turn. Peace treaty, no. He's got crossbows. Ouch. Right. Crossbows, huh? I mean, we might be able to take this city next turn. Yeah, crossbowmen already is kind of tough. Uh, we can unavoid growth here now. Cross moment inside Busan is ridiculous. Mr. Jarvis says hello, welcome to the stream. All right, let's just attack with whatever we're comfortable with attacking with. All right, well that's Busan down. Right, pop it. <laughs> That's made us quite unhappy. Oh, it stole that title from us. Library and a water mill. Not bad. Yeah, career with salt. What could go wrong? And expos. Yeah, I know. It's already got crossbows. Um, does that mean we should peace him now? I guess that's true. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. But we do have some stuff. I think it's unhappiness though. You probably want the natural wonder worked while you're unhappy. Yeah, I think so. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out what we do and don't want. How are we going to get help? I mean, the way we get happy is trades, but we don't have any yet. Oh, hello, William. He's also got no trades. So, are we going to get any trades? We can take some promotions on our combos. I just did all rough terrain, which is probably a terrible idea. I mean, our cities are quite big, in fairness. There's a re there was no reason... Yeah, maybe no reason. There probably wasn't. I probably did shotgun the piece a bit too early there. Have a look. Oh, there actually wasn't a crossbow. We might have to come back later. Just one crossbow. Oh, William gives away his last luck at half cost, does he? Good point. Shame I don't have anything. Well, hopefully he doesn't get too far ahead in 10 turns and I can come back for Seoul, maybe.
Nearly unlocked courthouses. Not that I guess it'll do a lot. Let's see, oh yeah, man. I shouldn't have pieced at all. I've got to take it. But yeah, the piece was definitely a terrible idea. I don't know why I did it. Usually I wouldn't do something so stupid. Circus Maximus is available. It's 11 turns. I mean, we just need to wait for trades. That's about all we can do here. If we don't get trades, we don't we don't get happy. I guess we'll build the Circus Maximus. Full production while unhappy. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, I don't know if Soul can be taken. I mean, it's 24 combat strength. We can shoot it from a few tiles. So it might be takeable. But it would be tough, I agree. I mean, maybe some catapults would be what's needed to take Sol. Oh, it's building a Colosseum in Busan. That's useful. And Gardens is available. We could maybe take advantage of that and build the Gardens, but we should probably build the National College. Go out and prove some more cotton. No lux here sucks, but there's not a lot that can be done about that. There's some units. You need a lot of cannon fodder in case he has a few crossbows. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> could build some. I mean, roads inside Korea's territory don't actually work when you're at war with them. Yeah, there are some crossbows. I mean, he would have been pumping out crossbows in Seoul, which would have been rough, to say the least. I don't know whether or not we're supposed to go for crossbows or not. Probably are. Need to keep an eye out for trade. Trade's the only way this happiness problem is going to get fixed. We'll build National College though. Well, National College. Circus Maximus while we can. But we really do need trade. What about Galleas for Seoul? Yeah, it could be. It could be Galleas's. There's Swordsman now too. I mean, we probably wouldn't have been able to take it because he's got crossbows and whatnot. But we can have crossbows ourselves. I saw these cities connected by road. Still need trade. We will actually get happy by building the Circus Maximus at least. Yeah, when you generally tiles the roads work. Yeah, but not, not just like out of the box. More cotton. There's nothing we can do unless we, like, sell cotton to, like... Do you reckon Korea would just buy our cotton for... Hey? He actually just bought our cotton for 8 GPT. Maybe that means that we can get pearls off William for this, like... Oh, there we go. Okay. But well, that got the last copy of his locks. And then we should have enough to upgrade four crossbows. Which is quite handy. We can maybe try and crossbow Korea. Is it then... I mean, it's com composite bowmen until one turn and then build other stuff. Production here in Busan. It's not actually working the production right now. Just gold focus. X-Men and Swordsman is a rough, yeah, rough combo, yeah. I don't know what we do yet. Some combination between various things, probably. We'll try crossbows. We'll see what we come up against. It's now just one city, Korea. Oh, so, oh, Korea's onto two cities now, actually. I wonder if we can get Maria to declare war on Korea. I actually would for a lot. Which I don't really feel like we can stomach. Certainly not. It would be quite handy, though, if she were to do that. The peace treaty expired. Good trade salt for Wales. I don't know what it would do. I'm guessing it's salt for Wales and, like, 2 GPT. Three. 
four, five, six. This is the last copy of salt. We are happy again, so I guess we can keep growing. In Carthage and Utique. I'd like to take Busan back over, but we can't really hang gardens after National College. I'd like to. Oh, we had an extra salt last time, but we missed it. That's unfortunate. It's fine. We're going to war. We'll do what we can do. We've got Busan. It's got a library. Fire's been recruited. I guess we'll put it in Kiev. On that. And what can we do? Got another civil service farm tile down there. Move this combo back. I don't know what melee units we have. We probably need some better melee units. The Jong built the hanging gardens. A lot of crossbows. Anyway, if we're going for crossbows, we need to be ready to do crossbows. So let's move all of our units back into upgrading position. I really want the scout to go there. Let's put that in there. Busan. Busan really does need to be working some production at some point soon. Does a spy install for sulfur vision have any purpose? Not really, because we're going to have vision on it when we want to... Ah! No. I built the combo by accident. Which sucks. No, I need to build another one now. I mean, we might, we might have enough gold to upgrade them all, but we also might not. Right, road here. Save some gold. Salt is available again. Okay, he's just going to do that trade for a moment. That's fine. Yeah, I know. It's annoying. I noticed this thing, this thing far too late. It's what happens when you try and do pre-builds. You often forget little things like that. Carthage, Utique. Carthage is kind of good now. But let's at least get some roads ready. Keep growing. We are three cities, 31 pop, turn 75, which is not the worst thing in the world. It could obviously be better. We're going to need some pikes. So, and the Queen, Queen Kareem would actually probably do a decent amount of damage. Get an African forest elephant. Why not? And pre-build a composite bowman. Four turns until machinery. Who's hand working this production yet? Of course not. It's just working every single inch of gold it can get its hands on. Three City Trad says Nubbish or Nubbyash. Yeah, sure. Will you need the elephants or pikes? Not sure. Go for both, I think. Yeah, I did build the road to Utique for movement for the units, although I probably should have done it up here, actually, now I think about it. I know we've got the free harbour. What's going on here? Take that. Then Carthage is going to grow. Needs more tiles, really. And our cities are good. It's just a shame we have to do all of this war. Is it worth it to annex the third city? It might actually be now. For unhappiness. I mean, we can get it to build the Colosseum sooner. It already has a library and a free aqueduct. All of our cities... I mean, we'd go unhappy if we did it. Which actually, now now I think about it, is not, not the worst thing in the world. Yes, yeah, let's do that, because it's it's screwing itself by being on gold focus. I mean, it's getting us the gold that we need. Oh, courthouse is for happiness, so we might as well do that. 
Then we can just freeze UT and work all the production we can get our hands on. And then in Carthage, we can freeze it as well. Carthage won't send us unhappy because every odd numbered population point in our cap is free. It's fine. You have a better time in third city. You're currently working one food, one production, do I? I guess I can work this thing. Oh, actually, I can work the gold here like that. Something like that. Yeah, there is cotton. I see. Yeah, we can change them around a little bit. See if we can get any luxes. Otherwise, I don't know what we're going to do. Can't finish that comp bow in Carthage. Have an elephant. A pike would have been nice, actually, but... We just have to make do with what we've got. We got engineering, didn't we? So we can cross... The river. Notre Dame is gone. It's a shame Korea didn't build that for us. All right, machinery in one turn, so we need to move the compos around. Good timing. Some units in some awkward spots, which is good for us. We don't need the scout anymore. I'm going to delete it. Because that will save a little bit of gold. Right. Then let's upgrade what we can. Good. Got some crossbows and this forest elephant. And another crossbow to finish next turn. And we can go back for... Do we go back for workshops now? Probably. Can't really grow. Yeah, we took a city. Not enough cotton's better. We, yeah, we need that courthouse done, I know. It's not really... It's not going to make a difference now. So I guess there is that. But yeah, I mean... Busan... I mean, Korea's first settler just went this way and settled Busan. Near where our third city was going to have to be. See if we can nick another caravan at some point would be handy. <laughs> we can take this worker if we want. I'm not going to. But yeah, this is very boxed in here. And taking Korea should be worth it. With luck. Alright. I don't really want to waste the warrior. I'm going to get this African forest elephant out in front. And then let's declare the war. Actually, wait, we need to get him to war someone else first. Can we get him to war Portugal? No. William? No. We're going to go unhappy from this, unfortunately, but this courthouse is going to finish and then we'll be okay. Kiev and Antwerp. Oh, he's, he's allied with Kiev, huh? No, oh, we failed on our Q in Kiev. Oh, well, it's worth a try. I think we, yeah, we do want Seoul for sure. Oh well. Let's try it. What do we do here? Gotta just kill that. Could take the worker, but I don't know what's there. In fact, we can check what's here. There's a unit there that we can't see. It means I don't really want to take the worker. We can start getting some shots on this comp, though. Oh, we got our first general. We can cross... The I was giving it that big up earlier about how we were never going to be able to do this, like, mountain stuff. And suddenly we've generated Belisarius. <laughs> Classic big talk. Good. We're getting some solid damage done. What we want to see... What can we do here? We're not on a road here. We are on a road here. And see what we can kill. Maybe we need to push now. Like that. Okay. 
Then maybe just a road here. Why did I see... Oh, really? City State sending a trebuchet at us. Kill that. <laughs> While we're here. And then we can just take another... Maybe another crossbow. So you're changing economy and capital now that you're unhappy. That's true. I mean, we're basically working in production anyway. In all of these cities. Korea's just being a bro and teaching us how to cross mountains. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to move this general around. Korea is being a nice... Oh, and Korea's put a swordsman in the water for us. Like an absolute bro. As someone just said, Korea, bro. He's putting a swordsman in the water. This is brilliant. It's a shame we didn't get that 33% chance of a coup. I was quite looking forward to it actually working. We're going to be happy next turn, though, and then things can hopefully pick up. Need to get rid of this. And we need to start getting some pillages off. Really wonderful is the enemy unit movement AI. I know, fencing climber. I love having lakes around. Yeah, it's true. And we can do some, we can, hopefully we can get some huge damage into the lake. We don't really need this warrior anymore, so I'm just going to yeet it into this and see what happens. Because what I want to do is try and start getting some shots in. Especially on the unit that's in the lake. We can kill that. We can actually take his worker. Okay. And then... Move crossbows around. Oh, really? I didn't mean to put it in there. See, we lost the that now, but we can start pillaging. Which is exactly what we want. <laughs> Let's put another one in the water. Oh, my God. Oh, this has worked out better than I'd hoped. Belisarius had a busy life, it seems. Oh, really? So fighting against Persia, conquering land in Italy and North Africa, then back to defend Constantinople before having a go at the Huns. Oh, yeah. That is a fun life for Belisarius. We're losing 15 GPT right now. And we finally have a trade. There we go. 15 GPT sounds like market time. <laughs> so all the stupid roads we've got. And all this army. But we can pillage a bunch of stuff. So that we've got a little bit of gold. And now we can go for civil service. So I guess we need to go for workshops at some point. Looks like we don't need any more army. Policy and finished. What an absolute unit. Oh, what unit? Is that Belisarius? Yeah, I think so. 500 to 565 AD. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Go Belisarius. I guess. Oh, I'm just going to... Just heal this forest elephant for a turn. Minus 17 gold per turn. Sucks. By the way, actually, we do need to do the deity cheese. We need to repair the salt. And then take it again. We do need to do some of that. How do we actually build a road to Seoul? There. All right. This crossbowman can pillage and shoot. Crossbowman's going to die anyway. Yeah, soul is going down. Going there. I should have done that before, but... Oh, William died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we've not got that trade anymore. Keep pillaging so we've actually got gold. And then another unit in as a capture unit. I want to bring this crossbowman back to Utique. Yeah, William Rip. He's assisting in Korea. Feels good, man. Yeah, that's true. This guy. This general. 
Belisarius is, and he's even enabled us to cross mountains like a real true man of the people. Yeah, career's dead. Well and truly. And we've got a prophet. Why on earth were we able to get a religion? I mean, I'm not going to complain. Nearly take soul in one turn. I mean, this thing's going to die anyway. We might as well shoot the city. I'm waiting, you take the accidental profit. I know. I mean, I, I feel like our religion is just going to be so terrible. Like, why would I even make one? It's turn 86. We've got two faith per turn, and we've just been to war. Should probably just plant it and move on with our lives. And then buy some of these pagodas. I guess. Faith from quarries as well. Inside. You know what? There's no point in making our own religion. Holy sites equals scientists. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, no, I could I could have looked at what was available. I just didn't think that we'd have any chance of like keeping it or running our own religion. Well, there we go. RIP Korea. Well, we can peace now. Where's John Jews, Korea's other city? Well, now we just have to get happy. Which is a bit of a task, I'll admit. It's because we lost our trades with William. Start thinking into caravels, making for exploration. I think you're correct, actually. I think, Costa, it's probably a good idea. Oh, Novopus joins the stream today. Says, thanks for your tutorial videos on YouTube. Could you please do one about religion one day, please? I can consider it. Religion is one of those things that's very nuanced. And people often make a bigger deal about religion than there sort of really needs to be. In that religion, you can win a game with, without doing anything to do with religion at all. That is totally possible on Deity. I guess we need to delete these units now. Well, yeah, we have Parthenon, Tourism Victory with Parthenon, lol. We've actually got Hanging Gardens too. We need to wait these nine turns until this thing's out of resistance. And then, I don't, I know what we can do with the gold, but we'll figure something out. But yeah, I could do one on religion. We need to find more trading partners. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I feel like getting an actual Quinn Kareem would be good. It's one turn, so why not get one? There's no more happiness buildings to be built, which is unfortunate. Chichen Itza is gone. And it's it's unfortunate that William's died. I mean, that's kind of where our happiness issues are coming from right now. Because William has died and Portugal is not trading us back the, the Luxes. Anyway, it, our army is done for the day already. I mean, we can use the horse, these African forest elephants to scout as well. But our army is already done for the day. We just need to keep four crossbows. So I'm going to delete these combos now. And we'll get this general back to our city. Just need to keep four crossbows now. Because we can garrison them inside city. So there's no reason to not have them. Korea is denouncing us. I mean there's nothing Korea can do now. Portugal will most likely go befriend the city-states next to you and go for diplomatic victory. I'm guessing Portugal patronage. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. But I could definitely consider doing one on religion. I've thought about doing a religion video. But, I, oh, Sinai, wow. <laughs> it doesn't change my mind in wanting John Jew. We can't afford the happiness. I thought about doing a religion video. But there's a lot of nuance to religion, which is kind of tough to capture in one video. And also, it sort of matters less than you would think. We get a Queen Kareem here too, after the workshop. We're done with this Colosseum. Need a monument.
Uh, Kiev, I guess, hates us now for failing the coup. I thought we might as well try it. <laughs> to coup there, but yeah, it didn't really work out, did it? This is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. I can try and manage this production again. Busan's got another production tile. We just need to get happy. We're at minus two. So we can just find... If we can find a little bit more, we'll be okay. That was a nice city. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what we're, we're going to end up doing for this game yet in terms of victory conditions. It's too soon to worry about them. Let's go back to Kiev. I want a cultural ally. It's too soon to worry about victory conditions, really. You just want to play right now and improve your empire as best you can. And then figure it out when the victory condition... The victory condition tends to present itself. Oh, we were actually kind of on our own separate continent. Portugal had to cross this one tile-wide pass to get to us. Seoul is going to be a kick-ass city, though. Totally worth it. All things considered. Let's see if we can meet anyone else. Can we... Yeah, that Barb Camp quest is definitely gone from Banzer Congo. Did I ever do this road to Seoul? No, but I've got a harbour because I'm... I'm Carthage. Nervapus says it's hard to understand as a noob and very frustrating when your neighbours keep sending missionaries and prophets when they say they won't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that Unfortunately, that is just a factor of life of deity. They just do that. <laughs> OJB, I love the Korean worker out to sea in the north, I know. It's because it can't find a way back to his own city. As you can see, because it can only go in shallow water. It can't find a shallow water or land link back to Jonju, so it's just running around. No, John Ju's career is only City, Kostas. He had two left when, when he still had Seoul. So he's now got one left, which is John Ju. Yeah. So John with a Seoul start, that combo could have been prohibited in the code already. Lol, that's true. But yeah, I mean, with, with religion, religion is an interesting thing. Like, AIs will spam missionaries and profits to your cities no matter what. Regardless, yeah, there's just something they're going to do. There's no stopping it. You can put units in the way of your city so they can't actually get next to the city to spread. But that is the best thing that you can do sometimes. Oh, I've heard that there's a bug that your requests only work for missionaries and not profits. Oh, I see. But yeah, I mean, picking the right policies and making sure that you've got the faith per turn to be able to defend your religion is probably the most important thing about religion on Civ. Sadly, we didn't get free aqueduct here in Seoul. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of detail to go into religion that I guess we, we don't really have the right time for now. Yeah, profits are what matters. That is quite annoying. But yeah, like, if you don't have the faith per turn, like, actually founding your religion depends on having enough faith per turn to be able to maintain your religion, which is why I planted the prophet as opposed to founding a religion here. Yeah... Both, both is right. The AI can sometimes just do something even though they say they won't. Well, we're on 42 pop. Turn 89, which is quite good. We just need to grow the capital. But we're not happy, which is making it hard to do that. Oh, but what can we do? We need to take a filler policy. I mean, we've got religion, so we might as well lean into piety now, right? Get some shrines and temples built so we can buy the pagodas to fix the happiness issue. Feels good. Is good. Let's do it. We're done with wars, so we don't need honor anymore. Alright. Shrines and temples it is. Busan can even build us a shrine. I'd grow Busan, but we still don't have any gold. How much is a Colosseum to buy? Can we buy one? 370. I'm tempted to try and buy a Colosseum in Seoul at some point. Or a courthouse. A courthouse would be a better purchase. But again, the issue is that we just don't have the trade. Because we haven't met any AIs. We can just grow here. No reason to not. We're unhappy anyway. We might as well just grow it. And be more unhappy. Ah, oh, France. Hello, Napoleon. Bienvenue. Truffles. Cotton. Napoleon. Yes. Happy days. We're well, happy again. For a moment. <laughs> We've immediately grown twice. <laughs> Alright, what can we do here? We've got a ton of food in Carthage, plus 26. That's good. That's what you get when you actually have coastal resources like that, mind. 
You take. Cool. Need to work the civil service farm if we can. Why did I repair this thing? Oh, because it, we can't actually... I thought we could build a civil service farm on this hill, but we couldn't. Is this a road? No, I meant to put roads in both these tiles and never got around to doing any of them. That's really bad planning. <laughs> wow, Napoleon was right here and we never met him. Lawrence is allied to the other AI, so hopefully they're quite close. There's another Quin Kareem. More food for Carthage. We can really try and steamroll the growth now. Now that we've got aqueducts, it's a good time to start growing. First time that Napoleon came in handy for an Englishman. Lol. <laughs> yeah. But just, I have to say, I quite value your religion. Oh, I do too. I don't mind the AI spreading their religion to my cities early on, as long as I can convert it back later, so I often take Messiah. Yeah, it's a good call. I actually agree with the way that you handle religion. I do agree. We need to. We need more trades. We're not getting any with Portugal right now, which kind of sucks. We try and friend Portugal. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, we friended Portugal. Sounds good. I was kind of worried that Portugal would hate us for being a dirty warmonger, but... Can we cross over? What? Ocean. Is, it some... Is there something weird that allows you to go into oceans with... Cannot enter deep ocean. Entering oceans in your own tile? Is it because it's in our own land that we can do that? We need a granary here and a workshop. At least we got all of our tiles improved. And uh, we don't really have time for a renaissance wonder. Only within your own borders. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. An entire sleeve says maybe we should have gifted surplus military to Kia for the influence. Korea will never war us now. We could do that. Probably should have done it. I never really do it because I never really see it as like a meaningful difference. But if it does become one, I will for sure. I probably don't see it as big a difference as I should. Soul would be so good. It's still got four turns of resistance. We need some more trade. Getting some trade so that we can actually grow soul would be really important. Makes it annoying to attack Sir John by sea if he has turtle ships. It's true. It's much more significant when you can walk the units to the city state so you don't have the cooldown. Yeah, I do agree with that. I do agree with that for sure. I mean, I would have, I would have done it. I just, yeah, if you, if we're close, I would do it. But right now, it doesn't really, there wasn't really like much there to do it. I, oh, I knew I was going to do that. Accidentally complete this crossbow. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's, it feels very pointless. I might just gift three of them away now to the city state because we've accidentally built that crossbowman. I knew I was going to do that. Because, yeah, Siong will never attack us. You're right. I need to delete some surplus roads. The trouble is, I can't... The, ro the surplus... The roads aren't rendered on my map, so it's quite hard to see them. But we'll see if we can find the other AI for some happiness. Is Maria plotting against us, really? Well, she's got a long way to go. Trespassing in Mbanza Congo. If I minded, I wouldn't be in there. Yeah, I'm just going to like triple gift to Kiev now. Now that we've actually completed... I wasn't going to do it before, but now that we've actually completed the crossbow, we might as well. Back to being unhappy again. I know I was going to do that and outgrow the happiness in some way, shape or form. Save a bit of gold. Let's hope Sol goes and builds a Colosseum or something. Oh, hello. Some land up here. All cities for Luxes doesn't appear to be going very well for us. Could do with finding another natural wonder right now. That would help for happiness. Uni's. Watermill is kind of pointless while we're unhappy. Uni, garden. 
Need guilds soon. I'd like to go into the Renaissance era for Sistine Chapel. Leaning is still here, but we don't have an engineer. But zoos could be quite handy. Let's try acoustics. Alright, well next turn I'm going to gift all of these crossbows away to Kiev. Cross the mountain? No, I'm not I'm not that daft. Could have crossed the mountain though, used the special ability. Move the road. I think that's all of our pointless roads out of the way now. I don't remember building too many. Hmm. Unhappiness sucks. Oh, here we go. We now have control of Seoul. That's building a workshop. This production's quite good. I feel like we could... I mean, if we annex it, that's five unhappiness. Maybe we'll do it once it's built the workshop. Gift all these crossbows away, and now we have 15 influence. It means we should be friends once we rig there. See if we can find a natural wonder. And the other AI. Keep an eye out for trades. Still, trades is the way that we're going to be happy, and just two AIs have died, one of which was at our hand. We don't have very much of trade. Wellington. There's a lot of city-states here, it seems. Is there any way we can convince Maria to part away with her last lux? Of course not. Hmm. Don't want to end, end my turn on a mountain, even though we can, because we have Belisarius. I'd love to grow Busan. I wish we could. I really wish we could. Ragusa we've met. Who who's allied with all these city states? Is it is it like Greece? I want to find out. I feel like we're quite close to meeting them, but I don't know where they are. Peace treaty with Sejong expired. But I don't think we'll be acting on that. We're definitely done with attacking Korea. We, we don't have room for Jeonju. Maybe we need open borders with one of these AIs to find out who the last AI is. Napoleon's declared war on Maria. I'm guessing that's what he was talking about earlier. Three cities to allies. Feels very Greece, doesn't it? If I had to make my guess who, who it is. Can't get Napoleon's open borders. Can we get Maria's though? We can do open borders for now. Work uni slots where we can. Don't need to work the Barringer Crater anymore. Uni slots. Since we're unhappy, we can give up food for the moment. Great mosque. What's that? Faith, culture, and a free mosque. Almost worth it. Oh, hey, can we buy a pagoda? Only if I annex the city. Oh. I almost want to build the Great Mosque. I feel like I need to build the cargo. Soon. Don't we already know it's Greece? They killed William, it seems. Oh, oh yes. Sorry, I thought this was Portugal's colours. Yeah, it is Greece. Lol. Yeah, they were... The, I Because I, I saw this bluish thing. I thought it was Portugal, but you're right. It's not Portugal, it's Greece. Yeah. It's my bad. Sometimes an AI will sell their, a copy of last copy of a Lux for 28 GPT. It's sometimes worthwhile. Well, we don't have 28 GPT right now. Sadly. Need some amphitheater. Well, need some anything. Zoos, I guess. We've already built all the Colosseums. Need anything as soon as possible. Well, I guess we know where to go to find Greece now. Let's go to Amsterdam. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, there's Grace. And he doesn't have any trades. Any chance you'll do one for two? No. Well, we can propose in the World's Congress. We're going to do World's Fair like we always do. It's just a good choice. We need to try and find one of these natural wonders. We already found Sinai, but another natural wonder would help for happiness. And we are very much desperate for happiness. Alright, Soul's building unuseful things now. Let's get let's get buildings. We can get Pagoda. We can build a three-turn courthouse and then a three-turn coliseum. And then figure it out. Go for max production focus. What, the faith? And then we need to buy a missionary. Apparently we can't do. Why can't we build a buy a missionary? 70 away. Well, we don't have enough faith for the missionary. It's fine. We'll get there. What's the Slamsterdam? Here we come. What's going on in, in, in Amsterdam slash Slamsterdam? Could burn the general for happiness up north of Seoul. That's a good point. You've reminded me of what I was going to do now. I was going to send the worker to the Coco. You're right, though. I reckon burning the general for that is actually worth it. It's a good use of the general. We're not going to use it for anything else. I mean, Seoul's got Parthenon. So maybe we can convince it to grow there if we buy the tile, if we cut down the forest on the tile. Into the Renaissance era. Seoul is growing. Good. And here we've finally done the water mill into a garden. Carthage is going to grow. It's ready for it. Someone's in a printing press now, but I feel like... I mean, we'll go for compass and then we need zoos for sure. All right, lumber mill. Civil service farm. I really need to grow Busan. We need to give it some help. I might actually send a caravan to it. We've got access to coasts, so I wouldn't normally consider it in, you know, coastal trade routes. But because Busan is just so desperately behind, I feel like we probably need to. Please get a luxury, Greece. Oh, Slamsterdam last time we conquered it. It was a little while ago. It could be. I, f I forget what the nickname for it was now. You could consider saving for coal, otherwise the cacao is worth the general. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I could nick the first from city-state. We're trying to ally Kiev. Busan adopted a religion. Excellent. There's a pagoda that we can we can buy. Need to build guilds. There's a lot of war in this game. Including us. It's quite funny, really. I need to find the other natural wonder for the happiness. It's, it's, it's really bad when you're talking about being that desperate for a natural wonder for happiness, but we do need it. We're going to get this courthouse in Seoul soon. That should even it out. We lost five by taking by annexing Seoul, so we should get zero here. Is that McCand? Yes, we're on zero. Yeah, and the border's growing there in two turns. Brilliant. Don't need to use the general for it. And we're happy. So I feel like one cargo to Seoul, a second cargo to the capital. Do we have a granary here? We do, nice. Yeah, one cargo to Seoul, a second to the capital, and then a caravan to Busan to help it out. Feels like a good way to go. Because Busan is just too far behind, it needs the help. We don't really want to work any gold here. In Busan, because working working gold's kind of pointless in this city. It needs production or food, so I don't really want to. I would normally work the cotton in the situation that that city's in, but because it's so far behind, I think it needs to just work food and production for a bit. But yeah, we can save this general for coal now. Ten hundred three. 
49 population. So we're actually on, I mean, we're behind benchmark, but given that we did war, it's not the worst thing in the world, which we always have to consider. Sistine Chapel. To try it for culture. I don't know that we want to try it actually. Maybe just going to do a writer's guild. Then in here we can build the cargo. Then grab the banking caravan at some point. Wait. That's going to be a good bit of happiness that we really need. Not often you find yourself really gasping for a natural wonder for happiness. I'm almost always trying to find one for a city-state quest. But in this case, it's not true. And one pagoda for Busan. Napoleon is plotting against us. He's miles away. I don't really think that's real. And there's the... Cocoa slash cacao in our borders. This workshop's done. Time to grab a uni. In here. Oh, shrines for pagodas and stuff need are needed. A stoneworks would be good too. But we need to build a university at some point. Imagine if that's the natural wonder that I've been looking for. Wait. I'll go ship to Carthage. I want to really try and mega grow the capital for when we're we're working all of these specialist slots because we need to work the writer slots and such now, which is why I'm sending it to the cap first and then with the next one we'll go to Seoul. Alexander builds globe. We're meeting city states everywhere, which is nice. Got that tile in Utique. There's actually another civil service farm tile that we could grab. I wonder whether it's worth doing it. Artists Guild. I need the ironworks too. It feels a shame to be not going for Sistine right now, given we went in on it, but seems okay. Could be worse. Get a one turn temple, why not? Can't get out of here. Oh, we can. Nice. It's Corinth, Braga. Pyramids over there. And we do have some nice wonders in Seoul. Let's not forget. Hanging Gardens and Parthenon is quite handy. I just realised I haven't been doing my best here. It's a bit stupid, really. What else can we do? Get that. And then... Need to work a couple of production tiles. Workshop. Okay. And grow soul a little bit. Uh, Des uh, Desmond joins the stream today. Welcome to the stream, Desmond Knight. Says, ah, oh, yes, a unit in my name will eat itself for the lulls. <laughs> okay, Desmond, you can be... I mean, I don't know. What, what can we make you? Do you want to be one of the... Our fearless explorers? Or would you like to be one of the... One of the crossbowmen guarding the home front? Let me know. A market thing for the gold. Uh, workboats would actually be useful now. But welcome to the stream, Desmond. Let's explore. Why not? All right. Desmond Knight can be... Who, 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 who feels a bit more Desmond? I guess African forest elephant over here. There we go. Be one of our fearless... Exploring elephants. Elephants men. Keep growing Carthage. Need to grow. Do that. Feels good. We're about to get a scientist for Kiev's... Oh, Kiev had a quest for a scientist. We're actually going to do the tech quest in the end. Anything better than nothing, I guess. Maybe, do we... Can we get open borders with Greece? He doesn't see a way to make it what Cotton. Salt. <laughs> I mean, that was a bit pointless giving away that salt for the open borders, actually, but we've got it. Oh. Both asks Veg, how many channel points do you have? I can only see one way for this going. <laughs> when someone asks how many channel points everyone's got. 
I think we need to just go for a uni now and then worry about everything else in Korea's cities later. Need tiles. Need this. Take it. Get a worker there. Need this. Let's take it. Get a worker there. Need 1.25 to grow. Let's do that. That'll use up our last one happiness. But we do have a couple of... Pagodas still available. And food to Seoul. Good. Another civil service farm there. And one here. Oh, there we go. Seoul can grow. All of our cities are apparently going to be using all of all of the happiness up. Good job we got the cocoa online. Always curious how many founders have amassed. Oh, fair. Yeah, Veg is, Veg is quite often in the stream, so I'm guessing Veg has got quite a lot of points. Unless Veg bet them all away and lost them, which is, which is what has happened to some people. Rationalism finally opens at 109. Feels bad. All right. Artist Guild worked. But in a couple of turns, we should be allies with that city-state. And that'll be a little bit more happiness. Another work boat, please. One for the cap. So has got no coastal resources, which sucks. Oh, we can't go any further here. There's a random little bit of ice to annoy us. Desmond the Explorer. Okay, what do we got? General and a scientist chilling together. Still wait for Cole with the general. In fact, the general is the one that's better, best placed out here. The scientists can just wait inside Busan. Still haven't got a camp on this deer. Are we going to become allies with Kiev? Hope so. Next turn, I think we're going to find out. Cotton and silk with Maria ended. Zoo. <laughs> yeah. We, we need the zoo. And banking for the last trade route. Sadly, we don't have any... I mean, Utique is perhaps an astronomy, sin, astronomy city. But we, it should be. But we're going to find out when we actually get to astronomy. Which I don't think we can afford to do yet. We probably do just need to go on the science beeline for a little while. So we're a bit stuck here with the triremes. There's not really any, anywhere else for them to go. Maybe they can be deleted to save on gold. Really? Alexander's already got chemistry. Wow. <laughs> It is turn 110. He's already got chemistry. I can tell because he's got four production hills. You get four production hill mines when you've got chemistry. It's wild. We haven't even got unis up in all of our cities yet. I don't really want to be friends with France. Because we're friends with Portugal, who France has warred. Which doesn't feel good. How close did we get? We're zero away in Kiev. Really? Did we just give them a crossbow to make them happy? Probably do. We don't need them all after all. That's actually shaved to turn off the uni there. I'm. Uh, we can give away one of these Quinn Creams as well. Don't need to keep both of them now that we've done all of the exploring. What's, what's Desmond going to find next? Oh, yeah. So here we go. So Greece took all of these cities. Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and then crossed the sea to take Utrecht. Quite bold. Not a lot of cities from the AIs. Oh, hey, Daegu's been founded. It's got Sinai. <laughs> Greece are badasses, though. Yeah, they are. I mean, yeah, and he's and he's been... 
Unfortunately, there's been some denunciations between Portugal and Greece, which sucks. He's Greece has denounced Korea. So I'm going to denounce Korea too. And see if that makes Greece like us. It should. You, I'll have you know that Korea and I have worked together in the past. And I have the utmost respect for them. Just so you're aware. Says Portugal. I mean, I've taken two of Korea's cities. At least Greece knows what's what. Daegu's tiles. Yeah. <laughs> What an empire. <laughs> oh, that's true. What an empire in Daegu. Deserts, 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 deserts. Coast, salt, desert. Lol. Oh, poor Daegu. Sorry, I'm so sorry, not sorry, really, to Korea for that. We needed your land, Korea. And by the way, you did settle Busan, which was our city. So, you know. Have we got any more good tiles to work in salt? We really don't. We are plus 33 food. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. Need to get this aqueduct. Also, the sooner we get a stoneworks, the better here. What's Desmond going to find now? Iron. Nice. Like a bit of iron. That's allies with Kiev. Need to get spices. Maria's got some. We don't really have anything that we could convince Maria to part with. Maybe we can do something about spices with... Greece. Don't have enough spare luxes. So we're going to have to wait. Still didn't find any more natural wonders. I guess we have already found a few. We don't get any general bull coal. I request you general down Daegu's desert salt. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> we laugh now, but wait for them to find five oil tars in Daegu. Probably true. <laughs> oh dear. Massive denunciation, Spreeha. Huh? Right, what does Busan need to do? Probably needs a garden. I'm feeling it needs a garden. We've actually got a, a reasonable number of buildings there. And can we afford a missionary yet? No. 22 faith, so next turn. Nice, a good tile for you, Teak. And I'm actually building the ironworks in my capital, which is something I rarely do, but I should do more often. The assisting and leaning are still there. Let's research astronomy so we can build that observatory. And then we need to try and get in the middle of Greece's empire, see if we can see anything in that gap. Got most of the good tiles improved. That's an annoying fourth ring fish. Just one more good tile here. In Busan. Busan is not working any specialists yet though. Maybe a market instead. Oh, that's a good point. Could do a market. I'm not really working any of the gold. Although I'd like to. I'm kind of building the garden. Because I anticipate working specialists as soon as I can. And so, like, in about 10 turns, maybe I'll probably want to do it. If we don't build the market now, I might just never build, get it built at all, you know? It's kind of the way that I'm seeing it. May purchase with faith. That's it. Want the missionary. Need to get that caravan for it. But I'm just going to build it here. The caravan will help a lot. I've got this worker just doing really pointless stuff that it really shouldn't be doing. Maybe I can get Desmond in the ocean. Oh, there's the Petra city. It's Athens. Man, lucky Greece. Ernest Rutherford, that's our scientist. 
Does gifting gold to city state shield any improvement to the city state, or does the gold just black hole? Yeah, I think it's black hole. But yeah, they have no ambition anyway, as an entire sleeve says. Like they're just they're just sort of city state. <laughs> That's the best way that I can call it. They're, the city state is just city state. <laughs> they they do their own thing in their own special way. I haven't built a monument in Seoul, which maybe I should. I haven't needed to build a monument because it's got the Parthenon, but... I just want to grow these cities a little bit. Alexander's at war with Maria. Convert the cap. I mean, all we're getting is... Pagodas with this religion, but it's worth... It's more than nothing for sure. This city's not that far behind in its building queue. Could perhaps justify working a couple of these tiles like this. Instead of the flat mines. Do we want a bank? Do we build the great mosque now? Free mosque. Yes, I'll try it. <laughs> Billy Busan didn't grow to this tile. Could do with the market somewhere. In growing the cities will help our gold problem too. We've got astronomy so we can now cross ocean. Unfortunately, I've now got no more gold to upgrade any quinkareems. But we can maybe cross ocean with these African forest elephants. Maybe since we have a general, we should try for coal. It is only turn 115. It could be worse. It could be better, but it could be a lot worse. The first artist in Carthage. Deal with Napoleon ended. Busan's about to grow, that's fine. Plus 30 food in Busan, I think it's working enough. Maybe there's a Sriprada somewhere in the random ocean. That we are yet to find. And we can convert Utique. Oh, that's everyone following that religion. I guess Korea still gets the founder bonuses. Even though Korea doesn't have Korea's religion in any of Korea cities. I guess. Not sure. Well, it says things got a lot better once Korea were completely wrecked. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> It's a pity you can't steal a city-state unique Lux with a great general. Well, we you, we can, but we're just not in range of stealing one. And the only unique Luxes of the city-states near us are... Sadly, Furs, which we're already getting from our city-state friend. But yeah, I, I see what you mean. It is, it is a shame we can't do it. Plus 25 food in the capital feels like it's not enough. Because we did get a bit behind. It probably is enough though. Probably making a bit too much of a deal out about it. Carthage, Busan. Probably should rename some of these cities at some point. Plus 30 food. If we've got plus 30 food, I think we can afford to work a mine. Or two. Maybe something like that. Go down to plus 24 food. Feels good. And then we can try and start working some of those unis. We need to vote for a host. I guess it's Greece. No one else can be host. See if we can get the Great Mosque. I already know what I'm intending to do with the Great Mosque. It's just a free mosque. And we are kind of desperate for culture. not to this is really weird i'm trying not to end my turn on a mountain because it lets me walk in there like a normal tile but i know it's just minus 50 hp for no this worker's still here oh here we are <laughs> both says salt water bay oh no <laughs> let's see salt water bay <laughs> there we go <laughs> 
Justine's still staring at us. Nine turns is not a quick build. Yeah. I'm on a Byzantium game where it was three. Jesus. Three turns. Nervo Plus asks, does Triprada sometimes appear like an unworkable Krakatoa? Yeah. I mean, all the wonders can appear like that, but some of them are more likely than others because of the restrictions on their spawning locations. An entire sleeve asks, if Banza Congo wants a trade route, then maybe we ally them? I would, but they've got the same locks as Kiev. Now you have to take the salt for Sealt Water Bay. <laughs> Lol. Maybe. I mean, if we don't get coal, I'll do it. we got a garden here. We've got the hanging gardens. Does that mean we should have a garden? No, because we lost it. Stoneworks. Market. We need to fix this gold thing, don't we? So I guess I'm going to do markets. Oh. Samarkand plundered a trade route. And our research agreement just came through. We should go in for coal. Uh, four turns until we vote on the World's Fair. It's not even worth going in for coal. Let's just go in for schools. I like going in for coal if we're not actually going to build the factory straight away. Once we get a market in Busan, I might start working some more gold. The Busan to Busan Water River. <laughs> oh dear. Busan Water River. Oh no. Bus Busan Water River. There we go. It doesn't all fit, so it's got to be all in one word. Busan Water River. The oh, Raptor Crash is back. Welcome, welcome back. Rastafuai says, according to one Civ Wiki founder belief, according to one Civ Wiki, founder beliefs affect only the founder slash owner of the Holy City. So now, I guess you now got them since you own Seoul. You mean Salt Water Bay? Let's see. Are we, are we getting any culture from every five followers? I mean, it's not saying we're getting any from followers. So I don't know. I mean, this because this because the Civ Wiki is often wrong. <laughs> I guess, or or partially incorrect. Not not like for any fault of anyone's own, but no one really understands how Civ works sometimes. It might be one of these things where it says the founder slash owner of the Holy City. But it, it might just be like the founder. I mean, it's the founder belief. It's one tile island there. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I'm hoping it counts for us, but it doesn't really... There isn't really anything that seems to suggest that I'm getting it. Like, I don't know where that culture comes up. What else are we getting? Or should have we have been getting? I mean, that's just it. We're exploring very much like an AI right now, but there's just nowhere to go when there's just flat ocean. Like, I mean, classic AI is going straight along across the top of the map in the ice. So I guess we're not being quite like an AI, but we're being re relatively close to an AI. But it's just such an annoying mechanic that when you capture a city with the great library slash lighthouse, you lose the actual building. Oh, dude. What? So like the free library and the free lighthouse. Yeah, that is kind of annoying. And saying we've lost the free garden. That's quite annoying. Reese likes us a bit. We've got 215 food, which is top food. Third, production. We've birthed another scientist. Yateek's grown again. Yateek's a nice city. It benefited from that super early cargo that we sent to it, for sure. Well, let's see if we get the Great Mosque. I wasn't really like that keen on it, but oh, we need zoos now. We already built a zoo here, which means we need zoos. Unlike having to build zoos. We are once again short of happiness because we still haven't got a trade. Sydney, hello. And Greece is, of course, their ally. And our happiness was bound to run out quite fast, which it has. It's just a shame we haven't been able to get anything. Oh, there we go. We can be friends with Grace. I like that. Yep. Well, great mosque. Uh, I guess we can get a pagoda in a couple turns. 
to help solve the happiness problem. We can take secularism now. Which means that anywhere we're working in mine, we now need to go and work a workshop slot because it's two production, two science versus three production. I guess since we're unhappy, we can do that as well. This is a bit pointless. Right, the workshop. Maybe we can try and justify working the uni now. Need to work some of these food tiles, but because we're unhappy. Something like this. We now do just kind of need to build some zoos. And of course, we need to get this workshop worked. I really like adjusting all these tiles. I mean, you definitely should. But I don't like doing it every turn because you then have to just go away and change them back. Let's get some zoos built. And then in here, we can finally get this market now that we've got an observatory. 263, 263 science right now is not bad. Well, unfortunately, we're not getting the rationalism bonus through being unhappy. We can build some zoos. Utique to you. Utique to Unique Water Bay or Utique to Utique Water Bay. Nizef, just let me know. Workboat on Capital Wales. I've already got the workboat on the Capital Wales. Workboats on Wales are four, production, four, four food, one production. The top food and zero happiness, I know. <laughs> Not a lot you can do about it, I guess. OJB asks, is Greece the strongest sieve in the hands of the AI? They do very well. Like, city-states are a huge feature of high-level play. If you've got lots of city set allies, you can get away with a lot you wouldn't otherwise be able to get away with, which tends to make Greece very, very powerful because they're great at accumulating city-states. But also, the AIs love a bit of war, and Greece has two exceptional classical era unique units that make doing war very easy in the Hoplite and the Companion Cavalry, which makes them very, very fearsome and means that whenever they declare war, they actually tend to kill whoever they try to try to take. Which means that Greece can take take someone over and snowball like that very well as well. So Greece have quite a lot of bonuses that make them really good as the AI. So like all the city-state alliances that they get and hold, plus two brilliant classical era units, which basically help make better the weaknesses of the AI. Because the AI is always going to slam, and they always don't build enough and use their ranged units properly. So if they've got two ridiculous melee classical era units like the hoplite and the companion cavalry it makes them brutal yeah they're quite good but yeah i mean the best human civs tend to do well but yeah some ais do a lot better this says unique quarter bay got it okay unique water bay there we go but yeah, wish every world wonder also has one happiness, faith, and culture. Global wonders are supposed to be extremely good. Yeah, that's true. Some are just a bit lame, aren't they? Joy. Also, welcome to the stream, Joy. But yeah, many world wonders have really strong bonuses. But imagine if they had happiness on top of them as well. Yeah, Alexander is one of the best AIs, I agree. Raptor Crusher. Oh yeah, Mongolia is terrible at war. And the reason is because Mongolia's bonuses... They don't lean into what makes the AI like better or worse or what have you. I, the biggest problem I find with Mongolia is that when the AI is in control of Mongolia, they actually act on this city-state thing. And capturing own, own, capturing the right city-state can be really good for your empire. But most city-states are terrible. I mean, look at Mbanza Congo and Kiev. Capturing either one of these would be detrimental to us, not as a bonus. Antwerp would be detrimental. Iblos and Wellington would be quite good. Ragusa and Vancouver. Vancouver would be bad because it's got no food. Ragusa would be quite nice. But you can sort of go around the city states and just try and judge how many of them are actually worth taking. And the answer is usually less than half, maybe a third of city states are actually worth capturing for yourself. So one, Mongolia's bonus doesn't lean into that because he's capturing cities that are bad. Second is that the AIs don't use range units properly and they don't build enough of them, which means that they don't get to use the only reason Mongolia is even good in the first place, which is the Keshik. So they just tend up to be tend to be just a plain sieve because they don't make use of the Keshik, except they go around killing city-states, which makes literally everybody in the world hate them. So yeah, Mongolia is always bad. 
Yeah, exactly. It attacks every city-state first, and then the whole world hates them. That's why I never kill city-states on Deity. Because killing city-states is the single easiest way to get yourself triple-teamed on Deity, for sure. So yeah, Mongolia looks good, but isn't. Just because they don't lean into what the Deity AI do. Like, the good ranged units, whenever you get... Uh, whenever a human is in control of a civilization that has a unique ranged unit, they can be ridiculously good because humans know how to use them. And because ranged units don't take damage back when they hit, they, they work really well. But the AIs are just going to spam melee, and they're going to slam melee. So... What you want for a strong AI Civ is actually a set of unique bonuses that make them stronger when they're slamming their units into their opponents, which is what makes Greece so deadly on Deity because they've got the Companion Cavalry and the Hoplite, both in the same era, both units that they will spam that they can just use and kill people with. But yeah, Genghis, not the smartest man in the world. Yeah, most city-states are a bit rubbish. Might actually be tough to win this. Welcome to the stream, it's Abstinence. Says it might actually be tough to win this game. We'll have to be quick to beat Greece to a Diplo victory. I've lost to Greece multiple times before turn 200 quick and 300 standard. It's true. Yeah, city-states are often better as allies than as your cities. And the problem is, like actually killing a city-state often punishes you as well because it makes it, it makes it tougher to get allies with the rest of the city-states, which sucks. I don't know. I don't know how challenging this game is going to be yet. I mean, Greece is clearly doing well, but we're only... 9% behind. And we're unhappy, so if we can just fix the happiness, we'll be alright. Oh, yeah, when Genghis actually conquers someone, I mean, when every ally gets it right and conquers people, they can be ridiculous. But it's the same with Genghis as everyone else. It's quick game pace, Shoy. RGB says, any other civs particularly deadly in the hands of the AI? My gut instinct is that Rome tends to do pretty well for similar reasons, although they do tend to spam cities like no one's business. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of who always seems to do really well. Rome is one that comes to mind. So is so is Greece. I'm trying to think now. Zulus are often okay. They just Zulus just attack everyone. I'm trying to think about who does well. Because some AIs just get embro embroiled in ear wars left, right, and center. The ones that can, like, slay someone really quickly in the classical era tend to do well. And then just the ones with strong sim bonuses. Yeah, Iroquois tend to do quite well because they spam cities and actually make use of them. Both asks, what's the biggest map size you've streamed? I would be interested to see a larger Pangea. I streamed, I streamed 22 civs once, but we got killed by the AI. I would like to do another bigger one. It's just when I'm a bit stretched for time, I have to do some of the smaller maps because it does take longer to do a bigger map. Yeah, Russia and Germany are usually quite strong. You're right. Germany's a, a zip that I see do quite well. Yeah, Persia does quite well. That's true. I'm trying to remember now. I don't really pay too much attention to the AIs that do well. But if I were to think about the AIs that tend to challenge me for a victory when I'm trying something weird and being a bit slow. Germany. Greece. Tend to do it. Iroquois are a little bit of a problem. Some of the ones that only build like five cities tend to do quite well. Those AIs, they do all right too. I can't remember. Gostas asks, ever considered doing a two-part stream or do you have got do you have to finish it in one go? I actually have considered doing two-part streams. To be honest, I don't really have much feeling about it. I probably should do some more two-part streams. But I haven't done one for a little while. Yeah, America's quite good, usually, yeah. I mean, all of the AIs got... Hey, we constructed a great mosque for Florence. That, yeah, I can't remember. I don't... I don't really pay too much attention to the AI, because on Deity, you can usually get by without worrying about what they're up to. Worrying about the AI just tends to send you down a bit of a rabbit hole, I find, on Deity. So I tend to try my best not to really worry about what they're up to. Like, if you try and metagame the AI too much, it just doesn't work, because the AI is just barely affected by any metagaming that you do. What happened to Desmond? Oh, Desmond's up here. This is very snaky as a fractal, but it appears to be all one Pangea. It's just this little one tile wide gap that was asking for a canal city. Ah, oh, soul. Rhea's now got soul. Yeah, Germany's definitely... Yeah, Germany's really top AI, actually. You're right. Germany and Alexander are the ones I see the strongest most often. 
Babylon can sometimes be decent. America, I adore for the scouting bonuses. I want to go Liberty as America every time. Why would you go Liberty as America just because of the scouting bonuses? Soul 2 Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Soul 2. It's a shame we can't rename it to be Soul 2. Is there a difference between the strength of the Civ and the strength of the AI? Yes, exactly. They're definitely Raptor Crasher. 100%. The, uh... The strongest sieves in the hands of humans are not the strongest sieves in the hands of AIs because the AIs do different things. The strongest sieves in the hands of AIs are honestly probably the war, a lot of the war sieves, the ones that are kind of aggressive that have a decent unit unit that mean that they can kill someone and then snowball. That was Pagoda, that's happy. So that, that tends to be one, like, you know, Greece, the, the few of, they, they tend to do quite well, because the AIs tend to war, so the ones with a bonus for war tend to do quite well. And then the right combination between city settling and aggressiveness as well usually helps, so the ones that actually sort of are, are aggressive in a good way and settle the right number of cities tend to do quite well. Whereas under a human player, because the, the AI are just never going to do the correct thing, so it's about which sets of traits make the AI better at doing the thing that they're going to do anyway, which is kind of having a good balance between uh, a good, you know, a good balance between, say, growing cities, settling cities, capturing cities, etc. And war is especially good on deity because the AI have got so many ridiculous bonuses. Happiness is not a thing. Welcome to the stream, Rabin. Says Wu. Finally caught you live, PCJ Law. Well, welcome to the stream, Rabin, and welcome to today. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Korea can be... Yeah, Korea is, Korea is always annoying as well. But yeah, Greece is the most annoying. Yeah, I mean, America... America can be good. Their tile purchasing is quite handy. I would agree with that. But as a human player, scouting is usually not my issue. If scouting is your issue, you haven't built enough scouts. <laughs> you only need two or three scouts to make scouting not an issue. So that's not really... An issue like liberty just tends to struggle because you because it loses to tradition on happiness, growth, production, gold. It only beats tradition on culture and the four cities that aren't your initial four or any city that isn't your initial four. Yeah, Greece is different. Greece is definitely better as an AI. It's because Greece has those two unique units which are just useless as a human. Yeah, Shaka does tend to fade a bit in the late game. Shaka gets Shaka's really strong in the late game as a human. Because Shaka doesn't Shaka gets immediate air repair no matter what what ideology or wonders he's got, because all of Shaka's units got need less XP to get to the next level. But Sandwater Bay needs to grow while We're here. one maybe grow a little bit need to finish that zoo work on a bank because money is really terrible and it looks like we're about to start the world's fair next turn which kind of annoys me because we're so close to finishing that zoo just one turn of zoo why not we're going to be doing world's fair anyway impy warrior yeah impies are deadly yeah, Arabia doesn't seem to be up there too often, Mr. Jarvis, actually. So welcome back. But yeah, like, Arabia's... Uh, I mean, again, Arabia doesn't really lean into what the AIs do, which is why they don't do so well. Like, the Camel Archer is ludicrously good, but it just doesn't lean into what the AI is going to do. The AI is just going to spam melee, and it's going to melee attack everyone, and it uses its ranged units badly. So despite the fact that Camels are a great unit, they don't really see that much use from the AI and not much use in the proper way. It's like how melee unit units are not very good in humans' hands because they just don't see a lot of use in humans' hands, so they're not useful. On World's Fair, there is a trick, says Costa. You build a one-turn building shrine for production overflow. Yeah, you do. I, I know that, but I want to finish my zoo. <laughs> and we'll see what we get. Yeah, thanks for the tip, but yeah, I do, I do know. It's the same overflow trick I use all the time when I'm doing science victory. Same thing, and we can actually use it because we we've opened piety. I want to build. I want to. Can, can you remind me to buy a pagoda, please? 
Poland is also never top. Yeah, Poland always does quite strongly, actually. But you're right. I don't ever see them like true top. But they always do quite well. World's Fair passes. And hey, Silver didn't get banned, which is good. I mean, Silver's not been banned, but we have not been granted any access to this Silver that people have been talking about. All right, World's Fair. Need it. We don't need the zoo yet, so let's not worry about it there. We actually do need the zoo. But I want to see if we can win the World's Fair first, so we're going to try it. Saltwater Bay needs to grow. We need to grow everything. We need to work the unis as well. We might start working those. But we're on to World's Fair. We'll see where we're going. See if we've got any chance to win it. Some of the semi-aggressive AIs are also decent. Yeah, Denmark I see, I see doing quite well from time to time. I mean, that's what you said, isn't it? It's semi-aggressiveness. It's the ones that have the right balance between aggressiveness and just expanding by themselves. Of which Denmark is one of them. And Japan tends to do it too. Sandwater River. Get back to work in these tiles. Down to one happiness again. It's going to get used up here. 118. We have a chance of winning the World's Fair, which would be pretty big if we could win it. I would like the culture. We are going to go unhappy through not finishing them zoos. But I don't mind it for the World's Fair. I think we can... I think we can deal with it for the World's Fair. Maybe we'll eventually get another trade. And apparently we've got a chance with Florence because we completed a quest for them earlier. They are hostile. We need to figure out some city-states to keep out of Greece's hands. Here's Antwerp. Antwerp might be worth doing, actually. Let's put this spy in Antwerp because we do have happiness issues and we can just send them a trade route. See how Water Bay grew. Oh, lumber mill tiles. Brilliant. So good. Have we got any more? I want to work them. But we're in for scientific theory and now we'll go for industrialization. When are we going to grow? We're going to go unhappy in two turns. Probably we can win the World's Fair. So I don't really want to stop. Because we've actually got a chance at it. Oh yeah, Austria can be bonkers, you're right. Greece really just has all the city states he does, yeah. He's, he's got them all. We need to try and pick, like, really take some from Greece because Greece is doing well. And the more the AIs are at war with each other as well, the harder it makes it for them to flip the city-states. We kind of need someone to kill Greece, if we can. Portugal's at war with Greece. Maybe get France at war with Greece as well. If we had any gold, I would do it. Korea's not really ever going to grant us open borders. <laughs> yeah, we're about to go happy. There's no point in going unhappy here. We don't need to go unhappy for no reason. Just wait a couple of turns until we can get that happiness. Maybe we'll find a natural wonder or a pagoda. There goes Sistine finally, turn 126. There's Buenos Aires down here. Oh, that's Greece's ally. They're friendly. We're not far from this encampment. Why don't we just put our spy in, in there instead? Florence. Because we do need the culture and we can send these crossbows over. Send all of them over. Clear the camp. 483. We're a bit we might be a bit short on the city state quest, but it's worth a shot. On the city state on the world's fair, I mean. It is worth a shot for sure. Have we got something queued up everywhere. Yeah we do. Cool. We need to queue public schools up really. But it might be factories now. Let's go see if we can do this quest. Buenos Aires. So no more natural wonders. And Pagoda next turn. 
that's going to give us some room to grow, but we got four. Yeah, Grease Plus Patronage is broken. Grease Plus Patronage is some, some of the easiest ways to win your first Deity game. I mean, I would actually... We got this all to... Wow, we got coal online as well. We should probably go factories then. Let's go factories because coal is online. I mean, maybe we can, maybe we do like school first in the capital and then factories first everywhere else or something like that. Machu's finally gone. We can grow two cities, screw the capital and grow Usan water. And then we can make our way to electricity. Pretty sure Saltwater Bay is actually going to finish a zoo as well, so we might as well grow everything. This one, actually, we shouldn't have stopped growing in this one because the 20th population point is free, as tradition. We can switch that over so we've got this for this city. Right, and let's go try and get this Florence quest. Or Florence Buenos Aires quest. Then with ideology, hopefully we'll have a little bit more happiness to spare. Probably won't, but you know, it's always worth a try. But yeah, um, to be honest, Greece and patronage, I'm not sure, is the easiest way to win your first deity game. I mean, it definitely helps, so you can do it. I think that... What do I think? Yeah, no need to general call anymore. You know what that means, lol. Yeah, I do know what it means. Can I at least see if we've got aluminium first? I'm going to guess that's allowed. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, Venice on the watery map maybe can be quite... It, it can be straightforward, it can be simple, but I don't know if it's the easiest. I think the easiest way to get your first deity win is Huns on dual map. Or something. Or, even, I mean, anyone with good chariot archers on dual map, honestly. Dutch sandstorm with a ton of polders, Polynesia small islands. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, any, anyone that has a unique chariot on dual map would be the easiest way to get your first deity win. Greece. I mean, Greece plus patronage isn't actually that simple. I must say, like, you you kind of still need Arsenal of Democracy, even as Greece. So I don't know. I mean, the easiest way to do it is probably just Babylon Science Victory, honestly. Oh, but as I planned the vanilla version, though, no caravans. I see. Yeah, that would make it different. <laughs> we don't count dual map size. I guess that's true. I mean, if you're going to gimmick it with Venice, like, you know, what's the difference at that point? We've got free social policy from the World's Fair. And we take a social policy so we can take free thought. We're back to being unhappy again. Is that gone? Did we lose a deal or something? Oh, we lost the city-state ally. Kiev. We're going to rig there in one turn anyway. All right, let's at least get... We've at least got the general waiting. Oh, there's Aluru. Nice. That's what we've been waiting for this whole game. Would be a good time to get some spices. Babylon and Pangaea was my first super easy, says Raven. Yeah, I feel like Babylon Pangaea might just be the easiest way to do it. Because it's very straightforward and you get that writer as a boost. There's not a lot of ways you can go wrong as Babylon. Whereas Greece, often, often, even if you've got Greece patronage you still will need a lot i'm really like we're actually in a golden age so we don't need to do any of these artists there we go we got kiev back so that's happy again just and then in florence oh there's florence there in buenos aires what have they got as their luck so they've actually got furs as well oh I was really hoping for a bit more than that. I was a warrior in this game. Ruin. We've met Larsa. We got 90 gold. It'll do. 
Larsa wants this camp as well, huh? Larsa's got whales, which is our lux. See if we've got any aluminium before we commit to rinsing Daegu of its tiles. <laughs> Desmond's still doing some good exploring for us. I don't know, like, great Greece patronage sounds good, but in practice it isn't that good. I mean, it is good, but, you know, in practice it doesn't just give you a win. You still have to work for it. I don't know. I mean, Venice. Venice is probably the easiest. Like, in, if you go Venice, you can just follow the tradition science beeline and just win with Diplomatic eventually. I'd say Venice is probably easier than Greece patronage. As long as you know to send a cargo ship to your capital from the city-state that you take. Which I guess is not a given. But as long as you do that, you'll be okay with Venice. Don't know what I'm doing with this Queen Kareem right now because it's kind of stuck. Gonna go unhappy again in Saltwater Bay. We don't have anything to stop it. Unless we can get some spices from somewhere. World religion Catholicism, nay. Who's proposing world religion Catholicism? Who is Catholicism? Oh, of course, it's Portugal. I mean, we could do that to get spices. Wales, marble. I mean, I don't really want to... If we get rid of the marble and, like, know this and try to give him, like, a few gold per turns, we can get extra lux for it. Like that. And then I guess Portugal can hate us for a little bit. See, it's abstinence says, if I, if I remember right, the hardest thing for me for my first win was not getting killed by AI. I mean, I do agree. It's fractal, sure. Huns dual cultural victory. What? <laughs> How does that work? Huns cultural victory on a dual map after you take Venice. Yeah, I think Venice. As long as you know to, to send your capital and send it a couple of cargo ships, you're right. I reckon Venice is the easy one. I think I agree with that in the end. I'm not giving you open borders for salt anymore. Spice is connected for Antwerp. Good. Maybe we should have stayed in Antwerp. Feels like it would have been good, but I got... I got starry eyes over the city-state. Oh, we've put, we've put the spy in Buenos now. No, we haven't. It's in Florence and Kiev. I forgot to put it in Buenos because I didn't move it. Oh, right. I feel like we should probably keep it in Antwerp. It's got two Luxes that we don't have. I'm actually going to put it in Antwerp. We've just sent this expedition to take some city-states for some friends for a bit, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Wow, two. by the way, 206 culture per turn now that we won the World's Fair. It's pretty insane because we got Golden Age and some city-states. And six happiness, which is what we wanted. Some interesting spots we could have settled for Carthaginian harbours if we'd been able to. Kind of want to start working gold in here. Need a public school. It's getting very late for schools. But what can you do? That's a lot, basically. We're kind of stuck with what we've got. Yeah, you have city states. Greece is not pleased, I know. Oh, uh, Nizef says, so, Paul, what is your favourite Civ to play as? We know PC likes Austria, but what about the rest of us? Yeah, we'll see. What does everyone think? There goes Porcelain Tower to Maria. Finally, peace to Kiev, our city state. Perhaps we should have disciplined Maria for that. We even got aluminium. What? This is very good. Sovereignty. Gold from Science Building. Sounds good. Our gold is actually decent all of a sudden. 
Did the caravan stop? No. We just got no food there. Oh, we got friends for quite a while with those city states. Looks like we've got aluminium too. I guess that means we are taking the salt from Daegu, symbolically. What do, do you reckon that will start like a generaling war? I doubt it. We'll just be noobing some salt off of him. I'm making him very happy. It is Salt Water Bay after all. So was mate. You're trying to provoke a war, you're doing a fine job. I've got your salt now though, so. You know, I, I feel like we've got you beat there, Korea. Ah, right, here we go. Food to Carthage. I like that. Still plus 25 and we need to work a public school slot. Now on to factories. We can even build some hydro plants, which would actually be quite useful. And we do have eight aluminium. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rabin says, since I missed the first 120 turns, can anyone fill me in on why we're playing as Carthage? Feels a bit masochistic. Because Carthage, free harbours. Rabin, it's free harbours. We got immediate city connections for good gold per turn, which is the only reason, by the way, we were able to crossbow Korea. If we didn't have those free harbours, there's no way we'd afforded the gold to upgrade all those crossbows that we used to kill Korea. By the way, we basically restarted the game. We were eyeing up three spots here on the cotton. Carthage is our capital down here in Unique Water Bay and maybe something in here, but we weren't going to manage it because we wouldn't have gotten any of the extra luxuries. Exactly, the harbours are free. What, what more do you want? Three harbours. <laughs> we were eyeing up three spots. So it's going to be three cities on two luxes, but we're going to have quite a lot of duplicates. And then Korea's initial settler just sort of showed up down here at some point. Yeah, exactly. Free harbours, I know. They're not they're not that great, but they're, they're always fun to have. And don't forget, you can walk through mountains once you've earned your first great general, which we've done. But yeah, so like we were eyeing up our three cities and then Carthage's settler just showed up and went and settled Busan Water River, or Busan, as it used to be called right here so we could no longer found this city up here which meant we were stuck on two cities and so once you find out that you're stuck on two cities you have to war the air you just have to go to war there's no two cities doesn't win you deity games three cities barely wins you deity games often it usually will but it barely but two cities won't win your deity game your capital is going to be a useless size more than anything because you only have one trade route that you can send it so we, we sort of had to go to war. So we, we comboed Busan. And then we slightly prematurely pieced Korea, to be honest. But it was definitely a premature piecing of Korea. But then we captured Busan with combos. And then we, we just beelined. We, we went like this. We uh, we got philosophy and then we got... In, I think we got philosophy and then we, went, we got construction and then went straight to machinery. Skipping metal casting, civil service or education. And we crossbowed Korea. <laughs> And so then we took Sealt Water Bay. If Korea was Shaka instead, is this just a loss? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. I guess there are people who manage dirty OCC wins, but probably not on a capital like this. Says Virg. Yeah, oh, exactly. Like, the, the, cap the capital has to be able to get to pop 30 if you're going to OCC. That you just can't win without it. And this is not a 30 pop cap. It just doesn't have the food. That's why Venice is so important to go and use your first couple of great merchants to take over two city-states to send cargoes to your capital. Uh, Shaka's... I mean, the problem with Shaka is that he's going to... He actually spams MP and units in general. I mean, to be honest, if you combo the AI, usually you can kill them. You won't be able to wipe them out with combos, but you can do combos or chariots and then follow it up with crossbows. And that usually works on any AI. Straight up crossbowing the AI doesn't work because they get too strong. The AI tends to power spike between the between the start of the medieval era and probably start of the modern era. That's when the AI power spike is. So straight up crossbowing the AIs never works. They always just spam you with long swordsmen, musketmen, Gatling guns, you know, all, all of the bad stuff. Whereas if you can't bow them first, that slows them down enough that then crossbows can land and finish, finish the job, which is what I usually do. 
But yeah, Shaka is probably too powerful. If he builds the largest standing armies, there's nothing you can do. But usually you can take down the, any AI you want if you combo them first or chariot them. Chariot, chariting is better, but combos if you have to. And then, because chariots are just available so much, so much sooner, you don't want to have to go composite bowmen this early because you can go get chariot archers that have one less combat strength, so much cheaper, and they can move further. So you go chariots if you can, if not comp bows, and you can usually take a couple of cities, and that is enough to slow them down that then landing the crossbow rush works. But According to Siphonatic's forum, straight up crossbow only works if you go honor and farm XP. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Babylon Bowman Rush is brilliant. Yeah, Babylon Babylon's exceptional for many reasons. The Bowman Rush is one of them. Babylon Bowman Rush means you don't even need chariots. Bowmen are exceptional units. They're really brutal. I love Bowman. Do some more explore, exploring around here. But yeah, like if you you can you can combo almost any AI and you can chariot almost any AI. Charioting is more likely than combos because it's quicker to get to, so you can spam them better. And they've got more movement, and Babylon really can just archer literally anyone. So, if you war in the combo era, I, I generally prefer crossbowing over doing combos, just because of sort of how everything places itself. You tend to get yourself a lot further behind when you do something like combos, but because you do because anything done before National College tends to really slow down your national often, and you're on like a really rubbish number of cities, and it sets you up really poorly for that sort of boom that you need to be having at like turn 100, but. Sometimes it's unavoidable. Any ideology's been taken yet? We actually are generating four culture per turn, apparently. I don't think so. They purchased with faith. Oh, that's because we now can't... Cotton and... Cotton with Maria needs to be done again. Oh, we still want to grow Carthage. Let's work a little bit more food. But it's probably done growing soon. Oh, Lars has got some cocoa out there. I don't see any more unimproved tiles. I'm trying to look for some. But I don't think there's any unimproved tiles. Oh, look. We could have had this extra coal if we'd saved the general for that instead. But I guess you, we only really need four coal because four cities. I guess it's no big deal. We kind of do need more food here. I just want to make sure we're not working all of our production tiles again for the moment. I'm kind of worried that in that spam of like doing things we accidentally did. So Water Bay, we will need to go work these production tiles next turn. We've got humanism, which means we should be doing it. Greece and PC are warmongers, lol. Yeah, two AIs did get wrecked. And I did wreck one of them. Yeah, Netherlands was in here and Greece killed them. We didn't finish off Korea. Although perhaps we could have done. I really want to work in another factory slot, but we can get away with it. Alright, Saltwater Bay needs to work the unis. Like that. Needs its cargo back. Cargo ships are so good. Cargo ships saved our empire right now. Cargo ships are the only reason we were able to execute that combo rush that we did. Oh, JB says, I saw that call and chose not to mention it in favour of the Daegu bully. Lol. Especially in the Golden Age, I would work the cotton in Busan over 2 1 tiles. I guess that's true. I know. It is gold, isn't it? But we're kind of done with the Golden Age now. And I don't really want to carry it on because all these cities are nearly through the building queue. We've done good exploration though this game, like really good exploration. We've met everyone. Greece isn't actually ally with Larsa. Oh, hello. Greece is actually attempting missionaries. That's very strange. He's not going to manage it. Oh no, no, it's France that's attempting missionaries. Oh, these colours. I'm not doing well with the colour schemes today at all. It's a good job I don't do 
like design for a living. I am famously bad at drawing. Yeah, we'll see, we're one turn left on everything, and we've got two spare artists. That golden age was at a terrific time. It really was. Ideology next turn. I'm pretty sure our ideology has to be freedom here. I don't know. I mean, we're at 81 pop. So actually, on four cities, I would normally be aiming for 85 population on turn 160, but it looks like we're going to get 85 by turn 140, almost. Which is really good, considering what we went through in this empire. So that's kind of crazy good. I like that a lot. Ultra is slowly dying down. We've got 11 turns of the world's, world's fair left. Salt for Saltwater Bay was always a priority. Exactly. It was necessary. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> Korea have done well to squeeze three cities out of their mess. Yeah, I know. So they just put three cities down and be like, yeah, we're good. Here's, here's, why, here's what Korea's done. They've decided they, they need to pass. Mount Sinai between every city as it grows. So they've settled every single city within range of Mount Sinai, which yeah, maybe not a bad idea. Traffic light designer would not be a bad career to recommend. <laughs> or would not be a career to recommend. Lol, yeah. I think I can do... I, I, I make a lot of use of red and green, actually, in my job as an analyst. Use of color is a surprisingly good way to... to convey information because everyone in in the world kind of has the same traffic light colors so they all see the same thing it's, it's terrible for people with color blindness in fairness but if you've checked that all of your co-workers can see color it's really helpful for things like red and green one of the things i hate though is when people do do red and green colors and they make them the really garish bright green and bright red those look absolutely terrible it's vomit worthy it just doesn't look good and it's too bright so when you're colouring things red and green to show good and bad, you should really choose a very nice kind of softer red and a softer green so it's not so ridiculously garish. Yeah, I know. 100,000 IQ Sinai, exactly. Korea is too powerful. Look at all the desert tiles. Even better that they have no desert bonuses. Yeah, exactly. They've got a lot of desert. It is a shame. I, I, I would feel bad about the spot that we put Korea in, but I don't after Busan. I mean, Busan's totally fair game. Just just putting it out there, like, settling Busan is fair game, but we still killed them for it, and we're not feeling bad about it at all. Also, by the way, Saltwater Bay is a canal. Korea knows. Korea's got all the pro strats. They've settled a canal capital, and then they're... they're thousand op sinai swapping what what more could you want apart from the fact that these two cities are on opposite coast j law hates the italian and mexican flag confirmed i don't i don't mind them on countries flags obviously that's not to convey information but because they beat england wow <laughs> lol i remember saying this at the time but i wasn't i wasn't the saddest about italy beating england in the euros because England just... Italy were the much better team on the night. I think everybody can agree on it. Like, they just were the better team. England got... I felt outclassed in the final. And so I've always felt that... Like, I can't, you, I can't really be sad about England losing that game because we need to... I feel like we do need to choose freedom. I mean, our food is... 2-2-3 two, two, is actually a really good amount of food for what we are. But... I mean, why would we choose order? We're kind of struggling to work all of our specialists. Which, by the way, I'm not even working the public school specialist here like a noob. Oh, freedom, order, or autocracy. Uh, maybe autocracy is the right choice. I don't know. Depends on how many city-states we can wrestle from Greece's grasp, I guess. England tried not to lose rather than trying to win. Seems about right. I mean, Gareth Southgate was very successful at doing that. If we vote for this world religion and against it, what do you think happens? You might as well just downvote it now, though. I'm trying to think. So, do, would we want to go order here? We would get factory science immediately with order, and that would be pretty cool. We've actually got the faith to go for order as well, for the victory, and the culture to go for order. So we could do order. Alternatively, we could go autocracy and kill the world. Which is an option. There's only a few AIs and most of them aren't very strong. 
Greece is the only issue, but I don't know how much of an issue Greece is going to be. I mean, Greece is doing very well for himself. Aesthetics, and he's got a ton of city states. We'd be at war with like every city state in the world if we took on Greece. Theoretically, if you don't lose the whole way through, it all works out. Lol, kill Greece, I dare you, says both. I mean, we could do it. England, Hungary, 1-1, one, one, is it? Rip. Well, that's alright. England don't need to. England don't need to win the rest of their games anyway. They can just draw a few and they'll be fine. As long as they don't lose... It doesn't really matter, England are qualifying top of the group. I mean, we're close to Greece and science. If we go for science victory, we'll win it. That's that's pretty much guaranteed right now, I think. Like, we'll, we'll beat Greece to science 100%. The question is whether or not we lose to the diplomatic victory by then. We could go order, we could go freedom, we could go autocracy. I mean, we can kill the world without going autocracy. Maybe. If we get Antwerp as allies, we can. Which we should. So maybe we still go Freedom. I quite like Freedom and Statue is very good and the production would be very welcome. Let's be free. The Society for the Growth Boost as well is quite good. And then next turn we can take the Happiness Policy. I tried not to argue myself into going for freedom there, but just kind of did. I want to give this trade route to Antwerp. Yeah, Veg says, I find it hard to get away from freedom in almost all of my games. It's just very good. And most of the times, the choice between freedom and something else is so marginal anyway. That's the problem more than anything. At least I find. Just give away some of our stuff for a bit of gold. I don't really want to trade with Antwerp yet. I kind of want to keep growing Carthage. Maybe we'll, we'll find a way. We just need to get it at the end. We're going to get Universal Suffrage in one turn. We should be okay. If we're not, I guess we'll try and ally Antwerp at some point. Once we start rigging in there, we should get a lot closer. We just finished a zoo too. Got a couple of zoos to go. Just border grown to some iron. Wow. I did not expect to get third ring city state iron. I did not expect to get hold of that. Truffles just got banned, really. There's no trading for truffles. Universal suffrage. It's good. That's a little bit of happiness. We needed that. Yeah, iron. Yeah, England will win that group exactly. There's no, there's no two questions about that. I mean, what do we do about Antwerp? We could give them 500 gold at some point. That would get us quite close. And then with the rigging, we'd be all good. We don't have a garden yet in Saltwater Bay. And there goes Greek autocracy. That could tank our happiness, and it did. We just went unhappy. Unless we work some more specialists. Let's try an engineer slot. 16 and 12 seems about okay. That's got us happy. What are we going to do here? We can't really build any more happiness even if we wanted to. Maybe we build a hydro plant. Hydro plants in these cities feels powerful. Getting statue at some point would be good. Which we will. We'll, we'll get statue. And this bank might give us some gold. I'm half tempted to try and secure Antwerp as allies. 62 behind. Stock exchange is technically happiness. Assume you go that route. It's true, actually. It is, isn't it? I might go for one in the cap. Oh, no. I mean, we don't really need a hydro plant yet. Maybe we should go for stock exchange. We'll see, because you're right. It is, it, it, it is technically happiness. We could build banks then as well. Especially out here, we can build a bank. If Stoneworks is happiness. We can do that and then get a bank. Sometimes you're building labs on turn 141. We've not even finished all our schools yet. 
Friendship with Portugal expired. Can we get it back? Nice. Cotton to Napoleon ended. Eh. Is there anything we can trade to Greece? Not really. I would love to be able to buy out Antwerp. But we need one more rig to go in to do that. We could gift them this Queen Kareem now. Wherever it went. D8 behind. Positive GPT, I know. <laughs> it's a miracle for us, really. Great to think that that Spain game ended 10 turns before this. That's true. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the game is finished by turn 1 4 1. Let's go get this iron online. Sort it. At least with the like terrible land that we rolled, we ended up with. With all of the strategic resources, apart from horse, I guess. Which did cause us some issues, but that's okay. Do we go for hydro plant or stock exchange? I want stock exchange, actually. Let's just do that. <laughs> Korea it's, now likes us. Oh, I see that you've become friends with Portugal. Glad to hear of it. I'm friends with them as well myself. Good. I'm pretty sure Greece is going to denounce us at some point later anyway, so I'm not bothered about what he's saying. Well, we're up to 84 pop, turn 143. Work with this engineer specialist. We could build a grand temple. I would like that here. Might be worth a national epic at some point in the cap. I'm bringing this worker back. We, I'll use this worker to go there. And then let's build some stock exchanges. Because you're right. I can just get some... I can take the bank happiness, which I will be taking next anyway. I will definitely be taking bank happiness. So we can build banks and stock exchanges and get happiness from that. No. Minus eight from public opinion right now. We'll be pretty screwed if it gets too much bigger. We're up to 85 pop now, which is what we're looking for. So we've got kind of game winning level population. Which is what we wanted. Maybe what the trading post? And it's actually all this military that I've got randomly exploring the oceans because I've decided to have a go at doing those city state quests is probably why my gold's so bad. Who can we? I really do want Antwerp. If we have to, we'll go for it. We can trade like 20 GPT for 420 or something. Korea has been nothing but nice to us for absolutely no reason long. <laughs> exactly, but a bro. <laughs> this is about how my immortal games go. I build labs at around turn 160. Yeah, that's about right. It's the way it happens. When you go to war, like you can end up having good population and stuff when you go to war, but it's the science that you're a little bit behind. Because we had to go... Because we went to... We went to machinery before metal casting, civil service, or education. So you do tend to get a bit behind on the science. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when they asked for a declaration of friendship the term after we took Busan. Yes, of course. Korea is now of the biggest of brain. I agree. These pro cities. Napoleon keeps trying it with these missionaries. And he's just not succeeding because missionaries don't convert cities that already have a religion in. Busan Water River doesn't need this caravan anymore. Can we caravan to Antwerp? Yes, from Saltwater Bay. That's fine. Let's just do that. That means we can get Antwerp as allies, which is quite good. I'm looking forward to that. And if we're going to do that, we might as well just build a build a car build a cargo, shouldn't we? It's just worth more. How long? How much is a cargo? It's two turns. Ah, uh, it's four GPT here. I'm not. I'm not doing that. No way. I'm not doing that. I'm going to build the cargo ship. Thank you very much.
Something like that, maybe. Bit of food, bit of production. Let's get these units inside cities to save some gold after we've done a lot of our exploring. Oh, we've got an extra movement now in the ocean. Oh, sil Greece has got silver, yes. I would like that, please. Give it to me. Thank you. Desmond's had a good explore. Shows that you're involved in the budgeting process at work. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I was kind of, I was like, will we, won't we? And then it was just like, nah, this thing is worthless. Let's get rid of it. It's true. That was my thought process. He wants to war Napoleon. I mean, I, I would quite happily have you at war with Napoleon. I could do with you being at war with Portugal again, but Portugal's just doing poo. A spy has been recruited. That's good. We want to go chuck it somewhere. I think Buenos Aires is a great place to put it. Let's go do that. If we can control three to four city-states, that would be ideal. Apparently we're trading cotton away to Greece. Let's do that again. But that's how we got the research agreement. I do remember that now. We can't possibly be ahead of him on tech. No, we're not. Oh, we are. We are ahead of him on tech. Maybe. No, we're not. It's a bit confusing. Start working production in Seoul now. Or Saltwater Bay, even. Carthage has grown. Carthage can do what it wants. I quite like to work a bank slot. We've got plus 40 food, which is kind of silly. That is a bit silly, really. And then we just build statue at some point. How long is it going to take? 12 turns feels too much. That's fine. We'll just buy an engineer. Oh, hello. Archer. Nice. We've actually revealed a lot of the world, surprisingly. Not something I'm usually very good at. We've got four scientists. That's good. So Jong is not plotting against us. Don't be silly, Napoleon. We may have his cities, but... He's got no, he, he's, he clearly can't do anything. He does have chemistry, which we don't, in fairness. But. Adopt a policy. We can take the bank happiness again. We're up to eight now. Let's have the Statue of Liberty. And apparently we're voting for Greece for world leader again. Although Portugal's put sciences funding in, which I like. And this is a trade route to Antwerp. There we go. 19 as opposed to 4 GPT. I think that's worth it. Oh, there's a barbed crossbowman in there. Anyone want that camp? Not yet. We'll see if anyone wants that camp. The barbed archer back there too. It feels a bit over... Oh, we've been denounced by Korea again. You're doing a much better job with scouting when you're not depending on Amundsen. <laughs> yeah, Amundsen was a bit of a YOLO scout, wasn't he? There we go. Another social policy. I'm pretty sure right now what we want is Arsenal of Democracy. I'd take Volunteer Army, but there's literally no need for it. Arsenal of Democracy gives us production when building military units, and we can use its abilities to get us a bunch of city-state allies, which will help fight Greece. Whereas Volunteer Army would be great if we had a neighbour that we were we were worried about being at war with, but there's no no one's going to be sending like land military to us. Our risk is being warred through the sea. So I think we'll take Arsenal of Democracy, which will give us production towards that. And then that means we could start gifting units away to city-states for ridiculous amounts of... It's, fif it's 15 influence a shot. 20, because it's actually an increase of 15, isn't it? Or something. So we could just, like, spam knights right now. And we would be able to just get ridiculous amounts of influence. Amundsen, yeah. Amundsen was a hero, and I will not take this slander. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't, who doesn't know, Amundsen was what we named an automated scout on one of our previous games 
who heroically went straight up into the north and explored the ice the whole game, as opposed to doing anything actually useful. Because we could really do with wrestling these city-states off Greece. And Banzer Congo wants a road, but I don't care. Carthage is doing well. It's going to get to pop 30, which I very much enjoy. Let's keep working these merchant slots. A hydro plant would be pretty killer here. In Busan Water River. Stock exchange here. We'll spam stock exchanges everywhere. We should start bulbing these artists soon. Probably should have bulbed the writers, but I should have bulbed the writers after the World's Fair ended because that's when our peak culture is, is going to be across the whole game. But we're actually saving the writers so we get to choose when to take the rationalism finisher at this point. Nothing more. So even though it would technically be more culture to have bulbed them after the, our World's Fair victory finished, we actually don't want to do that because we want to save them to choose when we finish rationalism. Until he found that one last city state he needed for the Diplo win, a true patriot. That's true, actually. I forgot about that. He was very one-dimensional when he went past his task. But yes, he won. He, he did win us the game. That's true. Hero Amundsen. I always forget about Amundsen's valuable contributions to the Empire. It is true. He did win us that Diplo victory. I, I may have understated Amundsen's effectiveness. You can kill Korea all you want. I've done my part, France. I share your convictions that Korea only causes problems. I agree. Perhaps our combined denunciations will teach them a lesson. Can we, should I denounce them again? I guess we can't yet. I'm not going to ask him to friend us. Because he will probably accept. I've never tried to build three... It's been a while since I tried to build three hydro plants. But it feels like the right way to go for this game. I don't know why I'm working this trading post. I should work the bank slot instead. Try and kill this barb camp. Because he will probably accept. <laughs> well, you know. I feel like the next stream you have to play as career to make it up for them. We did play as career quite recently. If I remember correctly, it was a 162 turn science victory. Who on earth does Antwerp want us to denounce? France. I'm not doing that. We're two away from Antwerp. And now feels like a good time to spam knights. Oh, we don't have horses. <laughs> Lol. Wow, we can't even do the cheese because we don't have any horses. What gives? We can spam Galliasses instead. They're 67. The knight's actually 80, so spamming Galliasses is a better idea. Same here. We don't need the Hermitage. We've got more than enough culture to get whatever we need, because we only need two more policies. There's no need for Hermitage. We should just spam Galliasses right now and give them away to city-states that we like. Oh, Hello. Yeah, we got three writers. So that's not going to be a problem culture at the end of the game, which is what we want. Amazon did next to nothing all game and then and then did one thing right and will be remembered as a hero. History is great. I know. 11 turns till Soul 2 wins the game. What do you mean till Soul 2 wins the game? Korea win with a pity victory type. Well, why is Korea going to win? I, I, I don't think I was concentrating. Oh, I see. Yeah, of course. Soul from a different era. Yeah, fair. La France we never did get much trade, did we? Can I try and give away this iron to him? We've got like two iron. It's the world's lamest amount of iron ever. But we can try it. He even gave us eight gold per turn for cotton for some reason. Korea has the most desert tiles that has to count for something. I don't think that's true. I think we've got the most desert tiles. Sandwater River is going nicely. Look, another factory here. Keep spamming Galias. Keep gifting away Galias. 
Right, one Galias to Antwerp. See, 20 influence per Galias gift. That's going to be pretty stupid. We can just start giving Galliases away to everyone for fun. If all of our cities were building Galliases, it would be even more ridiculous. But we're not quite that, quite that fun. Portuguese order, that could be pretty bad for us. But we should get Antwerp as allies in a minute. Though even if it goes badly, I think we'll make it up. Carthage actually is going to get to pop 30. I'm quite impressed. I really wasn't expecting it, but it's doing quite well. Do we get East India for gold? National Epic, maybe? We don't really need the National Epic. That keeps spamming galleasses. I guess we'll spam galleasses here too. Although a stable to start would be not actually not that useful. Galleas spam. We're giving galleasses away to our mates. What do we do? We try Larsa as well. I mean, we've kind of got Kiev sorted, so I think I want Larsa. Because we, we do want the faith that they have. We can't let Greece have everyone. And it would be nice to get Mbanza. Oh, I guess we could go for Mbanza Congo because we can build that road. What's the best spot to build the road to them? It's actually quite far. Two, three, four, five. It's five turn road, but we can start up here. Korea is the only surviving Civ without an original capital that has to count for something. <laughs> Lol. I guess. Oh, we've been denounced by Portugal. I guess that was coming. I expected it to be Greece that would do it first, but I guess not. Still in front of this barb camp. Got more Galias. I'm just holding the Galias out because I want to concentrate on... Oh, I've just pledged Antwerp for no reason. So I want to make sure that we, we get our core cities before really going for some others. So we just move the Galliasses out and hold them. We get open borders with Korea. By any chance. No. How about for salt and cotton? No, oh, okay. Korea actually has three capitals now. If you don't think about it too hard, Saltwater Bay, Seoul, and Jeonju. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> three times as strong as anyone else is just mad. <laughs> I guess. Korea, I guess, yeah. There's three of Korea's capitals on the map right now. Jeonju, their capital, Seoul, their capital, and Saltwater Bay, their old capital. Who knew? Wow, we just connected jewelry for Vancouver. Okay. And Busan Water River got us another scientist. We're up to five, that's good. We can go back to Galias spam for the moment, and then we're on to labs. Alright, that means we can give away another round. To Buenos Aires. Do we want to keep gifting to Larsa? Maybe we should just keep gifting to Vancouver. We should just keep gifting to Vancouver. And then we already gifted to Antwerp, didn't we? We did. We just gifted to Buenos, we did. So we can actually afford to gift one to Larsa as well. Oh, wait, I just did that, did I? Okay. Oh no, next turn is Larsa. Let's try and build this road to Mbanza Congo. Yes, I can give to Mbanza Congo. We are going to do that road for them. France has got two cities on here now, including non-coastal Grenoble. We're not going to talk about Dijon. We're not giving you open borders. This is grounds for war, lol. We are that kind of brutal leader, I guess. 
Wow, Greece has just replaced Portugal in Vancouver. Looks like we completed everything just in time to go for labs. It's time to Golden Age. We can probably do two Golden Ages in a row here. Yeah, an artist in 16 turns means we'll get the other artist once these Golden Ages are up in 18. Time to go grab oil. In case we do need to finish this game by domination. And we can... We're building labs on turn 156. Classic timing. Ife is this turn. Or Larsa even. A scientist. We should maybe make a little scientist valley down here. Only got five. Six. We might get seven by the end game. Which isn't bad. Referring to which Bond movie? No, Mr. B oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, man. I can't remember which Bond movie that is. I don't know. Does anyone know which Bond movie is this referring to here? What are we doing, Carthage? 36 turns from Merchant. Made that 24 for a merchant. That seems fine. When are we going to generate these engineers? 13 turns in the cap. Or we've got scientists in 5, 8, and 16 in Unique Water Bay. We might be... We're going to get this 16 turn one sooner because we'll finish the lab. So we should be able to go up to 7, 8 scientists if we're lucky. Hard generated. Then we can buy 1 to 2 and we'll get 2 from Hubble. So that can be... That's anywhere between probably 10 and 11 scientists total we can get. At a guess. So we'll see what we do end up with. We'll just wait here to clear these roads. Clear the camp. Bit of gold. Oh, is it Golden Age Finger? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> We need to keep gifting to Antwerp for a bit. And, but well, I mean, we need to keep gifting to everybody, but we don't have any time right now, so that's fine. Napoleon has declared war on Korea. Napoleon wants these terrific... He, 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 wants, he wants the Sinai triumvirate. It's what Napoleon's after. Usain Water Bay got to pop 20 now. Brilliant. Sounds good. Science is funding. Let's vote for that. And that'll make sure we get our 11 scientists. Bring our crossbow home. Can you blame Napoleon? It's quite OP. Exactly. <laughs> Golden Age finger would be Persia with 250% Golden Age length. We're about to finish these labs, though. We've got 11 happiness. Only minus 9 from public opinion still, which I'm quite impressed by. But that is because we won the World's Fair earlier. We had 200 culture for ages. And there is a lab. Uh, apparently, we are growing mega fast in the capital with plus 42 food. Right. Seaport, stable, windmill. Let's build a stable and then we'll see what we can do. Probably should. Science funding failed, did it? I would just like to propose... I don't know what. World religion, Eastern Orthodoxy. Oh man, really, Greece? It unbanned truffles. World ideology freedom, anyone? Annoy the AI? We won't pass that. I mean, we might. But if we want to buy gold off the AI, we probably shouldn't do it. Cultural heritage sites feels good. We've got a few. Desmond can wait there until the end of the game now. All Bond trivia. What was the name of the real life spy that Fleming used as an inspiration for Bond? Oh, I did actually know it, but I've forgotten now. So I guess I don't know anymore.
We need to do one more gift to Antwerp, I think, and then we're safe. And then we were gifting to Vancouver. How far away are we behind in Buenos now? Because I would quite like them as our ally sooner rather than later. We need to gift to him Banza. Did we do that? Nope. Lots of city-states with... Oh, we got another iron. I mean, a seaport is actually extra production in the cap, which we might need. Them here. Well, I would like to get back to spamming stuff. We need to start working the lab here. What can we work instead? Give up the food. We don't need that anymore. I would suggest we go into full stagnation mode, but we kind of already are. In here, we could actually do a bit better, can't we? And we can even actually work the market. Probably the factory. 15 turns seems good. Yeah, it's about as good as we can do here, so that's fine. Give up the 4-1 tile from mine, maybe. When it gets to chemistry, that'll be worth it. Same here. There we go. Avoid growth, we're done. I mean, the city could do with one more pop. How long is it going to be? Nine. Eh. Whatever, it's only production. If it was science, I wouldn't worry. Votes from World Religion seems pretty scary. It does, yeah. Oh, is it Popov? Ah, fair. This has gone well, though. I didn't expect two city comps and then crossbows and then where we were on turn 100 to end up looking this good. There's our sixth scientist. We should probably just stagnate in here. I don't really fancy growing the city anymore. And we can go for max science instead. We don't actually have chemistry yet. We can actually just work all the stock exchange slots. Like that. And that's max science. Seaport is basically worthless here. So it's a windmill. And 78 production compared to 78. So windmill would actually be worth it because we can build Apollo here. Adopt a policy. I'm going to take the science spaceship part one now, just so that we know that we have it. But I'm pretty sure it's not correct. Up oh, two oil nodes in Saltwater Bay. The city gets better and better. It doesn't get better and better like our Spanish city. But it's still pretty good. Can we? Yeah, we can afford to work another stock exchange slot. And this city, this cat was just growing like an absolute steam train. I don't see what I can do about it, really. Apart from just not working food anymore. But what else do we do? We're working all the specialists we can afford as well. How goes our scientists? 6 and 11 in unique water. So we just need to make sure we're not generating our engineers faster than that, which we're not. We could do with getting chemistry right about now. There we go. Bring our forest elephants back. Let's go get this oil up. Oh, we're waiting here. That's fine. We can wait till next turn. And then this scientist, Andrei Kolmogorov. We're up to six. So we should be able to get up to eight then. And then two from Hubble and one from a scientist purchase gets us... Two from Hubble, one for a scientist. It gets us 11 and we might get 12. Toledo is a legendary city. Yes, indeed. OJB asks, what's the victory plan? Domination at this point. I actually think science is going to be faster. As it happens. Any more trade routes? Because, like, thinking about what the fastest victory will be, I feel like it probably will be science. Just because we're kind of already on the way. Like, we've already got oil tech. We're on chemistry. And it's turn 162. 
Also, because we've got 905 science, feels like a decent number. Get a bank. Silk and cotton with Maria ended. Oh, we can't get it back either. Okay. Especially because we don't seem to have the happiness now. Like, it would have been more... Let's get this cargo ship. It would have been more worthwhile, I think, if... And this was food to Carthage, which can, which can now be production to Carthage for sure. Because, especially with the happiness that we have, we're allies with Antwerp. And we're practically out of happiness, which would make it really tough to sustain a domination victory. Once we take the first capital, we'll, be, we'll basically be in the negatives. Unless we take whoever's got Notre Dame, which is Greece, who's the furthest away. So they're, they're like the last person we want to take. And Greece has got Notre Dame and Forbidden Palace and Taj, which makes it really tough. If you're going for domination victory and your happiness is this dicey, I'm kind of looking for to be able to take the person with like Notre Dame or Taj or Forbidden or one of the one of those one of those happiness wonders fairly quickly. My one concern is that going to science is that it unlocks the world leader vote at the same time if we're not fast enough. I'm pretty sure the world leader vote is going to be available for longer if we're doing domination, if I'm honest. We'll probably be in the info era just as long because we'll need like 10 turns once we get stealth bombers to finish everybody off. Whereas we can start bulbing on turn like 168 to 170 here and then be good, hopefully. We need to start sending production everywhere we can. Our gold is recent, reasonable. It's not great. We should probably send for more gold as well. And how long does our Greek friendship last? Because that's important. Six turns. I would really like to get it back, but I don't know that we will. Our Portuguese research agreement came through. Four turn Brandenburg. I would like it, but I don't think we need it. And the National Epic's not going to be worth it. Just build East India. We can go back to spamming. I mean, what's cheap now? Cannons are 123. Privateers are 100. Infantry are 251. Gatling guns are 150. So we spam privateers to give to city states now. This is production to Saltwater Bay. Because if Saltwater Bay is going to be the one building our hubble, this needs to be sent production. Need to get ready for railroads, but we're too busy building oil wells. Well, we're going to get immediate railroads to Unique Water Bay and Saltwater Bay because of Carthage's free harbours. So all we need to do is worry about the railroad to Busan Water, Water River and then we'll be okay. Where do my workers go? There's this joke worker here. Oh, we only have four. Okay. Yes, they're free. Exactly. But yeah, like, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We're, this is why we're doing ridiculous amounts of gifting to city-state allies. Let's try and resolve some of these issues. With city-states. If we can own a few, because you need them all, remember. You need basically all of them to win a diplomatic victory. So if we're holding, like, four, five, and we're spamming away our... Our arsenal of democracies. Greece is going to have a lot of trouble beating us. If we're holding quite a few of them. If we're like every round we're gifting. Like every three turns we're gifting away 20, 20 experience. And we've got spies in three different city states. We're in a good spot to hold him off for diplomatic. I mean, we could even win diplomatic ourselves if we were, I mean, we probably couldn't because it is Greece, but you know, it's kind of what I mean is like, is that Arsenal democracy is that good? Three privateers here. Anything else we want in here? We don't even really need a national epic now, so that's a no, which means we can go spam some privateers because they're the cheapest unit we've got. We sand water river stock exchange in here. I would do a seaport, but. I mean, I guess because it's one turn, we can do it, but we don't really need it.
then we'll get ready for railroading to Busan Water River. Because of the free harbours, we don't need them anywhere else. Just want to keep making a point about the free harbours, because they are free. This is... Oh, I've, I've accidentally pledged a city-state again. Keep gifting. We should be able to get some allies soon. Oh, OJB asks, just curious, what's the number he needs for this particular map? I don't know, but it's almost all the city-states. That I do know. You need, like, almost everyone. We've just been gifted an artillery. I guess let's go let's go put it in, in our citadel. Oh, that's the worker I've just put in the citadel like a noob. And this cargo can now be production to Soul Water Bay. This means we just need to go and work a food tile. This one. Good. Done. I don't really want to grow anywhere. Let's just lock everything. And I guess the cap can, but we're not really going to do anything about it. We can give away salt to Alexander again. Atomaporn just subscribed for the third month in a row. Thank you very much, Atomaporn, for the generous subscription. Says, thanks for introducing this American to the It's Coming Home meme. So optimistic and positive. <laughs> oh, man, it's coming home. <laughs> Football was definitely coming home, except when it didn't. But thank you very much for the generous subscription and welcome to the stream today. Sadly, I think football might be a little while coming home yet. Scientist in two. Hey, if I build the national epic in here, that'll get this scientist faster. Why don't? Why not? Well, since I've built that seaport, we might as well spam privateers. It's the only thing it's good for. Oh, Avilo, my hero. Welcome, Av Avilo. Who is Avilo? That is your hero. Asks, why so many artists? Well, we actually only have one standing around right now. But I guess you're asking about the artists and the writers and things. We've got them all standing around because of the way that their bold power works. Much like, you know, to keep scientists until the late game. Because you get the most flat science from them if you bowl them in the late game. It's the same with writers. Writers' ability to bowl for culture scales as your culture, culture per turn goes up. So the more culture per turn you've had in the last eight turns before you bulb your writer the more culture you get from the great writer bulb. And because to get to your win condition social policy, you need a flat amount of culture, it means that you, you get closer or you get more towards your win condition social policy by bulbing your great writers at the point at which they're worth the most culture. So I'm holding all the writers into the late game because usually right at the end of the game is when you've got the most culture. So that gets you the most culture from the great writer bulb. But in this case, we actually have enough culture to win the game already because we won the World's Fair and have had a cultural ally and a cultural friend since quite a long time. So I'm actually holding them in this case, not because of the the fact that they get more culture if they've you know, been around for longer at high culture. I'm actually holding them so we get to choose when to take the rationalism finisher. Because... In a game like this, where we've only got 923 maximum science, the rationalism finisher is going to be worth more than a great scientist is in terms of flat science. Because if we go to nanotechnology, it's worth 7,076 science. Whereas running at 923, our scientists are probably only going to be able to be worth, what is it? It's about five times 900, about four, about 4,800-ish science for a great scientist. So we can get 7,000 from Rationalism Finisher or 4,800 from a great scientist, which means that if we can use it to, to use the Rationalism Finisher on nanotechnology, that gets the most science out of the Rationalism Finisher. And then we can use Oxford on particle physics for exactly the same reason. So I'm just holding on to these writers so that I get to choose when to take the Rationalism Finisher policy so that I can time it for when I am able to research nanotechnology. That's why I'm holding the writers. And the artists I'm holding because of the Golden Ages. The, the, especially when you're freedom. But it's, it's, it's true normally even when you're not freedom. But especially when you're freedom. Golden Ages are plus 20% production. Extra one gold from each of your gold producing things. And plus 20% culture. So that 20% production can go towards spaceship parts. If we're going for the science victory. Which means we can build spaceship parts 20% faster if we're in a Golden Age. So I'm holding my great artists so that I can Golden Age when I'm building the great scientists. Oh, no, great scientists, spaceship parts. Yeah, Alex says, just tuning in, how's everything going? Quite well. Not as good as the Spain game, but the story of the game is we spawned as Carthage right here. We spied two expansions, Unique Water Bay, and then one up here on the cotton. And then Korea's initial settler, instead of like settling straight away, wandered around for a bit and then settled right here. 
settled the city of Busan. So because we were stuck on two cities, we thought that's pretty irrelevant. So we, we comboed Busan and then that weakened Korea enough that we crossbowed Seoul. And so we now earn Seoul, which has the Parthenon, Hanging Gardens and Terracotta Army. So we have our four city tradition, albeit in a very weird way. And we are progressing quite happily towards, I think, a science victory. Just because, and we could still choose to go domination if we wanted to. But it's my opinion that we don't really have the happiness to do it. Because Greece holds every single happiness wonder. Apart from Chichen Itza. And so, like, Greece would be, because our happiness is so dicey. It means that if we declare war on and capture a capital, we're going to go unhappy straight away. And Athens is going to be the last one we take, not the first one we take. So I think because of the happiness issues, I'm feeling I'm feeling science right now. And I also think science will probably be the fastest here. So that's how I'm feeling about ending the game. I think science is going to be the quickest. No worries. Avalo, my hero. Is that is, is your name Avalo by any chance and you're trying to get me to say Avalo, my hero? Something like that. Carthage demands truffles. I would love to give them to you, but they're banned, mate. I guess we can grow. I mean, if this thing's going to grow by itself, we might as well grow it. I guess it would be a waste to not do that. Still spam privateers. We got this national epic, which is speeding up that great scientist, which is what we wanted. We've surely got to be allies with Buenos soon. 13 behind. Perfect. We are allies with Mbanza now, but it doesn't mean that we can't give them another privateer to secure it. Especially because we're not we're not rigging in Mbanza Congo. That will probably be quite a shrewd move. Keep getting me the oil, please. Alex says, I need to clip that face you just made, lol. <laughs> oh, it's a StarCraft 2. Is that StarCraft 2, SC2? Or Star... No, I, I can't think of anything else that it would be. So Greece is back, allies with Mbanza Congo already. Oh, you know, it's Avalo, my hero. I don't know who Avalo is from SC2, but, you know, we're... We're appreciating. Thank, please. Rip Soul 2. Rip the triple capital dream. Oh, it is StarCraft. Fair. Yep. Rip. Soul 2. Daegu's actually surviving all of a sudden. These turtle ships. Might take it back. Oh, Time 303 joins the stream today. Welcome. Says, you are my favourite Civ 5 player after watching your playing tips videos. Oh, well. Thank you very much, Time. I'm glad you're getting some use out of them. Welcome to the stream. We need to go straight for Rocketry now. In fact, we need to go straight for satellites. I just need to click on rocketry. One more turn and then we'll start bulbing, I think. Get this last cargo. We've got stacking scientists. How long then? Until we get this last one in Unique Water Bay. The National Epic will help. Seven turns. So seven turns, we're at max scientists. Good stuff. And then are we are we definitely not gen 16 turns for the engineer? We're definitely not generating the one in Busan Water Bay in Water River in 16. We're gonna build Hubble by then. I'm pretty sure. Because we've got seven scientists. We're about to get eight. Two from Hubble, ten, and then one from Rationalism. We might even get two. We have no need for that, that other scientist. Yes, I do have tips tips and tricks videos. Avalo, my hero. If you go on to... I'm going to post the Spain game onto YouTube, Alex. I just haven't had time to upload it yet. But yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. See, see you can do it on the Syphonatics forum. But yeah. So, yes. If you do exclamation mark socials, the YouTube channel is there. I've got a... I've got a playlist called the Civ 5 Data Guide. Let me just find it for you. Thanks for doing exclamation mark socials. OJB. Yeah, I've got a playlist called the Civ 5 Deity Guide. It's where all of my tips and tricks videos are held. Apparently, I'm leaving 8.20 tomorrow morning, which I think is my girlfriend's cheeky hint to tell me to go to bed soon, but not after I finish the game. Where's this playlist gone?
Where are we? Playlist, playlists, playlists. Let's see. It's taking me surprisingly long to get the link to this playlist. It's quite unusual. I haven't even actually managed to successfully get the link to the playlist. That's how stupid I've been. Hold on, let's go back. I think I actually have to go to... Is it playlist? Is it this thing? Yeah, there we go. There we go. There's the there's the tips guide. OJB says, I'm carrying favour so that you don't declare war on me before I am strong enough to overcome the world with my memes. Lol. Oh, Time says, following your guide, or is it TYM? Let me know. Uh, I managed to win Deity for the first time. Well, congratulations, TYM. Very well done indeed. So I, I always say, but like, you have to actually be really quite good at Civ to beat Deity difficulty. So it's always a great, a great job when you successfully manage it. So well done. Alex says, I was debating rolling again to try and find a similar start with Salt, but I figured I've wasted enough time on this game. <laughs> You're probably right. You've wasted enough time rolling, Alex. I don't, I don't know about wasting too much time on the game, but on rolling for ridiculous starts, I, I think I, you might have done. <laughs> Far too many re-rolls, I think. Greece is now alive. Kiev? Hello. That's our ally. Greece is starting to go for the allies now. You can feel it. He's just done a couple in a couple of turns. Which means we need to kick up the privateer spamming. Might as well get a pre-build of Oxford in here. Avalo, my hero, asks, are you Filthy Robot's disciple? No, I, I I watched a lot of Filthy Robot like a couple of years ago. But the funny thing is, is like Filthy, Filthy is a really good player, obviously. But especially when you're talking about Brave New World Civ, he sort of played Brave New World in a bit of a different era, which means that some of his, his advice is obviously very good. I mean, he is a very good player. You, you wouldn't go wrong learning from him, obviously, but the... Um, some of it is outdated now, especially if you're talking about Brave New World multiplayer. So you can go quite a long way by watching Filthy, but if you want to really get into like Deity, Science Victory speedruns or something, you do need to go elsewhere to find out what you need to know to win. It's not a knock on Filthy, it's just like the knowledge of the gamers. Because Filthy's been out of Civ 5 for how many years now? Like... Production to Unity Water, but he's been out of Civ 5 for a good five years now. And the game has, like, people's understandings of the game have moved on since then. Saltwater Bay. I've got to make sure not to finish Oxford. It's something I keep doing, and I need to make sure I don't do it. As soon as I get research in front of it, I'm fine. But I have accidentally done it far too often. Right, there we go. So that's the uni pre-built. And now we can pull research in front of it. Friendship with Greece expired. Can we get it back? This is going to be huge if we can. No, we can't. All right. I kind of expected that. I need to get happy. It's because we've lost all of these allies. Don't need whales. Samakan wants us to get horses. We got horses and gave them a gift of gold. We'd be allies. But again, they've got furs. I think we've just lost all of our trades too. Well, we could do with getting happy, which means maybe we try and work some more specialists. Can we do that anymore? We can maybe work another one here. We've got plus 0 0.8 food. Minus 3. I don't really want that. Maybe do this. Work a stock exchange, like one of these. Work a factory. Yeah, we're happy now. Okay. A minus one starve is okay in unique water. We could work some more engineer slots now that we know we're going to get the last scientist in. How many turns is the last scientist? Five turns. We could maybe try and work a couple of engineer slots here.
There we go. There's one. That's good. Sandwater River is already kind of doing its best, but we can maybe lean into it a bit more. Like this. Just to try and eke out a little bit more happiness. I want to take that tile. And try and work a couple of chemistry mines if we can. But I think we've done the best we can. No point in giving up any more food here. Let's make sure we're ticking avoid growth everywhere. This is why I often stagnate pretty hard in my cities. Because we're running into a few happiness issues now with minus 20. And if we had less pop it wouldn't be quite as much of a problem. Seems a bit weird to say but it is true. I'll try and build Eiffel. Seems a bit useless, but we might need the happiness. Whilst we spam privateers everywhere else. Oh, Fencing Climber says, got to go. Good luck. Thanks. Time says, I lost to Greece in a domination because of the city-states. Should I have changed victory di direction? Not usually. It probably would have been better just to kill Greece. Greece is a bit annoying because of all the city-state allies. Sometimes you have to just declare war on Greece when you, when you own three or four allies. So that... He can't ever get them, and then he won't ever be able to win the diplomatic victory. Welcome to the stream, the DPN. We do need to start bulbing. I think we will start now. Two turns to go to radar. That means we do need to start thinking about Apollo... Next turn, I think. Actually, it might be... Yeah, next turn, we need to start doing it. Which is fine. We'll do that. All right, who do we need to gift to? Is it Kiev? No. Buenos. Yeah, we need to gift to Buenos so that we can keep hold of some allies. Last, so we can't do yet. And Bands of Congo we can do. Lots and lots of privateers going around. Vancouver we can't do yet. And what we can. I'd quite like it. would make me more comfortable if we built a bunch of submarines or something. Because we might have to war Greece. And submarines would protect us. But we've got a decent list of allies. But let's not forget that. And Greece isn't like flipping them too much yet. Right, one turn to radar. And then I'm pretty sure we'll get rocketry next turn on a bulb. I say, I'm, I say pretty sure. I'm not actually that sure, but I think we need to do the shrine cell thing anyway, just in case that is the right turn. We actually have another couple of slots we can work here. We've got 1.4 food. Maybe let's give up one of these. Yeah, 12 is fine. So we've got 1.4 food. If we can give it, get a 3-1 tile, like that, sounds good. Oh, like that, that's fine. And a minus one star is perfectly okay there as well. In here, since we're not going to build Apollo here, we want to keep spamming. I mean, some bombers wouldn't go and miss at this point for defense. I'll wait until next turn before checking for another round of gifts. I don't want to be the guy that like checks for gifts every turn. I don't know that we're going to get the Hubble Space Telescope next turn. Well, I could, I suppose, just spam one bomber here in Busan Water River before we do anything. We're in radar. Bulb. Our one turn on Rocket Drew, so we actually need to do the shrine thing again in Saltwater Bay. can do the shrine i mean we get maximum this way so i guess it's not the worst thing in the world but it's usually just a little bit well i don't know i don't know what i don't know what the the right word is but i guess it's usually just you get more for your production if you do something else and make sure i need to do it on one turn production to carthage sounds good minus one starve is perfect that's what we want and there's our great war bomber to make sure we are defended we're down to four scientists, but we've got to remember we are probably at this point going to get two two purchases. And did we generate that last one that we need? No, we got it in three turns. 
We're at this point going to get one and then two from Hubble and then two from purchases. So that's going to be five, five more. So we'll be up to nine still. So we're okay. We've also got this Greek research agreement coming. Even if he won't friend us anymore. I'm tempted to just give him six and see if he will ally us. While we build these railroads. Alex says, take a sip of your beverage. Alex, thanks for keeping me hydrated. Time says, kill Greece for me. I hate him. Alexa, stop. I think I might have actually... I might have said thanks for keeping me hydrated, Alex. And Alexa, listen to me. Oh, no. Oh, both is keeping me hydrated as well. Both. Thanks for keeping me hydrated. Let's pop our spy in Mbanza, Congo. So we've got spies in four city-states. And we're trying to keep the allies up. Let's check for around the gift spawn to Lhasa. Oh, Sydney's here. One to Vancouver. Apparently, Kiev is quite close. And then maybe Antwerp to make sure we got the happiness. So we can't do it with Antwerp yet. I guess we're good for now. Can we get another dozen beverage sips? Lol. <laughs> Alexa is always listening. A small atom, atom, atomic bomb accidentally dropped on Athens on the last turn of the game. That I can do. I'll tell you what, yeah, we, we can nuke Greece. I, I promise to nuke Greece. We'll do that. I'll find a way to get a nuke built. Three turns for satellites. Satellites complete. And we found the Great Barrier Reefs. That's what we are missing. They're right here. Oh man, we went everywhere about the Great Barrier Reefs. Oh well. And there's our Alexander Research Agreement that came through as well. We got another spy. Which can go in Vancouver. And hopefully that gives, gives us a good stable of allies to throw Greece out of the water. See, look, 35 votes needed. And we're just choosing a host now, so I'm going to vote for myself. And we can do three-turn Apollo program. Oh, my God. Six-turn Hubble. It's actually quicker if we do Hubble Space Telescope in Saltwater Bay and kind of Apollo somewhere else in terms of... Oh, no, no, no. We want to do Apollo here for sure. So we need to get building them spaceship parts. We should do Hubble here. We should be good for a couple of turns anyway. Look for Atomic Theory. This artist. I think we do just keep the Golden Ages up. Should be fine. Oops, sorry. I spilled a ton of at atom bomb on your territory. Yeah. It's common knowledge that atomic bombs are built from leftover material from shrines, lol. <laughs> exactly. Slipped on a bomb. No idea what happened. Soz Alexander. That's exactly what's going to be going down. So we've got a railroad here. Brilliant. And this car goes going where? Unique. So we're going... So Carthage twice. Unique twice. Saltwater twice. So this is actually just a... An open cargo ship to go wherever we want. Iced gold to Lisbon. Nice. I guess that was the Antwerp cargo. Upgrade, so we got a couple of bombers. How far away behind in Larsa now? Just 49. Oh, Napoleon built Eiffel. Man, we have one turn left. We got five happiness anyway, so it's not bad. Might be a nuke missile that we have to do. Alright. I don't really want to build this bomber anymore. We need to sell a shrine. So we're ready. Build spaceship parts. Oh man, we need 20 production here, which we can't get. What do we do instead? I would love to build a submarine, but we don't have one. 
Good carrier. So our carrier pre-build is ready. So we get uranium. Busan Water River needs to build a shrine in a minute. Alexander's built the Manhattan Project. He's basically asking for it. And there's our final great scientist. And we do have uranium. Just what we wanted to see. All right, Busan Water River. I mean, I don't know where he's going to build the Manhattan Project. We'll find a way. Try and sell. Because we need to build spaceship part here. Here. Shrine, sell. Delegates. We can vote for cultural heritage sites. We're not worried about arts funding anymore. Welcome to the stream, Scrambled Megs. Buff says, I can't believe this is going to end up winning in under 200 turns. I guess that's true. We are getting pretty close, aren't we? I mean, I don't know quite how much punch we've got left. We've still got four scientists to come. So actually quite a lot of punch. We've still got seven left. One, two, three, four, about five here. Six, seven. Yeah, well, yeah I think I mean, this is just going to scrape under, I reckon. Oh, we got one turn left here. Arts funding and cultural heritage passed. We need a bit more gold from commerce. We're going to have enough of anything else. So we'll just take what gold we can get. Yeah, Apollo's done. We need to start building something. An SS cockpit is seven turns. Here it's 11, so we want to start building here. 11 turns should be good. I guess we'll put a turn into the Manhattan Project. Big Ben would be helpful, but we've already got enough to buy two parts. So I don't really care for the, the last one. Just finish this carrier. We've got railroads everywhere. Oh, Scrambled makes this take a sip of your beverage. Scramble makes thanks for keeping me hydrated. Albus Boy says, please denounce Korea. I um Sure. Korea. I, I denounce you for your lowly empire. You are unable to hold on to the triumvirate of Mount Sinai swapping cities. And therefore, I think you are a despicable Sith player. Yes, OJB. Ben. Exactly. Nizef says, about Colido. <laughs> oh, Colido. For anyone who doesn't know, as part of the Spain game that we played last Friday, Colido was the city which just got better and better and better and better and better. Revealing many, many sources of everything we ever dreamed of. So I just had a game where I had no late game strategic resources. Luckily, my neighbor's nearest city had it all. Coal, aluminium, two oil wells and uranium. That was Coal Lido 2.0. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. We've still got four scientists coming, but we're down to two. So we've got six left. Six turn booster. Move this out. We've finished advanced ballistics. Now we need to move for robotics. Finish combustion. And then use our last scientist that we have standing around on combined arms. Leaves us with computers and robotics. We go here and then we want to go to telecoms to mobile tactics. Right, we should have railroad connections everywhere. I just want to check. I mean, we do because we have harbours up because they're free. We build a booster here as well. And then our workers can just wait because I think their job is done. Make sure we don't give open borders to anyone so their stuff isn't running through our land blocking us off. Yes, free harbours, I know. 
Exactly. Alex says, I had to leave the Spain stream early. Super excited to watch it. Yeah, well, I reckon it could be done a lot faster. I mean, Veg, Veg got, what, 126 in the Discord? I got, like, 132, 133. But I was definitely... I just lost six turns. Because I had, like, three scientists standing around at the end that I should have bowled in the run-up to labs instead. And I was thinking about it at the time, but I just didn't expect it to snowball quite as hard. We need to keep an eye on allies right now because I've run out of privateers to gift. But we've got five allies, which is enough to keep Greece at bay for a bit for the Diplo victory. World leader vote in five turns. Because that's the one we need to make sure we don't lose. If we don't lose the world leader vote in five turns, we're home free and winning. We've got a fourth great writer born, which means we are guaranteed to be able to take the rationalism finisher when we want it. Time to move this carrier towards Greece. I don't know what the quickest way to his land is. I'm pretty sure it's through French territory in Avignon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I, I forget whether or not the rebase range of an atomic bomb is 10 or 20. I feel like it's probably 20, but I don't know. Take a look at the world leader vote delegates. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got 14. He's got 24. He's nowhere near right now as long as we hold on to our allies. If he gets five more allies, though, he he wouldn't win it still. He'd need globalization. Alex asks, I wonder what the fastest science victory ever is. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, in the Syphonatics Hall of Fame, it's like in the 190s, isn't it, on standard speed? So I guess if you got into the low 120s on quick, you would beat that. There's Hubble, two more free scientists. And what's quite nice about Hubble is that you get increased spaceship part production across all of your cities, not just the capital. We've just been gifted a rocket artillery. See if we can secure open borders with France and Avignon. Gonna give him whales for it, it's fine. Just realised this game, there were three white cover, white colour scheme sieves in this game. The map is bathed in white. It is, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's why I got confused about it. Because I, I, I thought that Amsterdam had been captured by Portugal because I saw the white, but then it was Greece. With 37 pop Athens, by the way. Greece is Temple of Artemis, Petra capital. And it's a legit Petra capital. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But yeah, this is in the bag now. Greece just can't challenge us. And we've got 454 manufactured goods, which is, by the way, a ludicrous number. We should start gifting away some crossbows. I just want to save them to gift them to who matters. Because at this point, we just need to make sure we don't lose everyone and we're okay. We should probably actually gift everyone away this turn, though, if we want all of the gifting to come in in time before the, the vote. So I'm just going to do some strategic gifts. I think I need to make a gift to Kiev as well. Maybe I'll gift Kiev this artillery. Because we know that Greece is chasing in Kiev. And then the rocket artillery can patrol it instead. Because I need these gifts to come in before we do the vote. But yeah, the map is bathed in white. Successful dominations. He wants to give us four uranium for cotton. Um, yes. Give me four uranium, please. No, no idea what that's for. <laughs> uranium from Mbanza Congo, too. We've got eight. I'm pretty sure Spaceship Parts Ballistics has just been stolen. There we are, robotics in two turns. And that's when we can finish rationalism. Lewis Carroll, nice. <laughs> yeah, I know, he wants to give us uranium, like Greece, smart plays. wonder what sort of mischief we can get up to with those four uranium. We've got eight. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we can buy a couple of a couple of these. I mean, we could buy a missile, but I'm pretty sure we want to buy just a couple of bombs because they're 1150. We only need to buy two spaceship parts, which means we need... I forget how much a spaceship part is now. 
should tell us, shouldn't it? It's 2260, so we need 4520, which means that we can currently buy about two, probably, and get away with it. Greece is asking us to nuke them, I know. We're, we're going to, don't worry. I'm, I'm moving the aircraft carrier into position. <laughs> La France t'offre cette proposition exceptionnelle. Oh, we can be friends with France. France can give us the... Oh. I was going to say France can give us the gold, but he can't. Greece has just denounced France. Well, not like we care. I guess we're going to punish Greece. We can build a, a bomb in here as well. Why not? Korean order to city Korea. Poor Korea. L lost the Sinai triumvirate, which I'm very sad about. Oh, we got some chance rigs in just in time before the vote. Wow. And we held all the allies too? We did. Which means that Greece cannot be world leader. So we can vote 14 world leader Carthage. And then Greece can't win. And it's going to be like 20 odd turns before the next world leader vote. Which means we'll be in space by the time that happens. If we can build another spaceship part, we can have even more bombs. But we should probably just build bombs and buy spaceship parts. Let's get the rationalism finisher now. Now that we have nanotechnology, let's just check. Yeah, we can take nanotechnology. So, rationalism finisher, scientific revolution, retech, nanotech. That's 7,000 science right there. Scientist right now is worth 4,688. So we saved, what's that, 1,300 science? No, 2,300 science we got for rationalism finishing it as opposed to bulbing through it. That's pretty cool. We have this standing scientist and then two more that we can now faith buy. So let's faith buy them to make sure that we don't forget. There's one. And then the next one here. That's three scientists and an Oxford. Oxford is for particle physics. We've got it left with one turn just down here in Busan Water River. Make sure that it's behind research again. It is. So I think we'll start the final bulb through penicillin, ecology and telecommunications, which means we'll have roughly six turns left until the end of the game once that's done. In which to, the pen is mightier than the lab or the beaker. <laughs> Lol, I guess that's true. The pen is, isn't it? We can go and see if we can get some more gold as well with HG Wells and whatnot. One turn until the next social policy. That's nice. Nizef says, it's so nice that Alex will get to experience that warm and tickling feeling of surprise we have in store for him. France wants a research agreement, which I don't understand. But yeah, he will. Our carrier is nearly there, so we need to go buy these atomic bombs. Into Carthage and on. We are not going to get another social policy. So I guess we'll take wagon trains for the gold per turn. Don't need mercantilism anyway. He's got those up to 26 votes now. But we can propose... Uh, we can propose world ideology freedom at this point. See if we can win it. And we got some more uranium. Pretty sure we need to buy an atomic bomb now. We actually buy two. And then we take France's 500 gold. He wants us to vote no for world ideology freedom for it. Which I'm more than happy to do. This is my own world ideology. We're not even going to vote on it. So I'll vote against my own policy. <laughs> Just for your 500 gold. How much is this going to be? 13, that's fine. And then that should get us enough gold to get our... What was it? 4,520 we need. And we got just bought two bombs. Oh, Time asks, have you played the Huns in a domination victory before on stream? No, I think the last Huns we... I tried Huns doing a bit of domination, but I got triple ward at some point because I decided to kill two AIs. We just recently did Huns on stream, actually, but I think that was a sign... Was that a science victory, the Huns game that we did? I can't remember now. It was a terrific empire as the Huns. Napoleon's afraid because we've got two atom bombs. We can be friends with Portugal. Hey, they're, they're willing to give... Yeah, everyone's willing to give us all their gold to buy atom bombs. Lol.
There we go. One turn left on ecology. Second part up. Then we can. What do we want to do in here? In Carthage. Wait. What do we? we so we got Carthage left. I feel like we want to build a. I mean, a four turn stasis chamber. Might be able to buy more atomic bombs with it. And then I can buy two more bombs. Are we going to still be here in four turns? We got one scientist left. Yes, so we are still going to be here in four turns. All right, well, buy two more bombs, I guess. And a carrier to put them on. Cool. And we should just about get enough because we can buy a, lot, a ton of Grease's gold. Let's do that now while we're in a pretty devious mood. How much for, say, 2,000? 89 GPT and Coco. Feels like we can get there. He's giving us a bit of a bad deal because he doesn't like us, but it's okay. We just want to make sure we've got enough gold to finance our spaceship part purchasing. Can delete a couple of workers now to save GPT as well. So we've got two parts. We're building three more. Good. One nuke for John Jew, two for good measures to so JB. <laughs> oh, poor Korea. I'm sure we can nuke John Jew. Sure, why not? We're, we're building John Jew's nuke in Unique Water Bay. Sharing is caring. Don't want Korea to become complacent. <laughs> All right, fine. We'll nuke John Jew as well. We've got four for Greece. And we'll just spam nukes until the rest of the game, I guess, in all the cities. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. Right here, we can wait. I would like to get visibility on Athens. So maybe we get a spy in there. Like the maybe the Imbanza Congo one can go into Athens now. Build another bomb. Get the nuke carriers on their way. And then this nuke that is ready for John Jew. Sleep, you atomic bombs. I'm going to stand in Ragusan territory. Is it safe to park outside Ragusa since they're allies? Yeah, it will be because we're going to nuke them on the first turn and then the carrier can die. Portugal just friended us and then denounced us. Got no more. So oh, we got one scientist left. I was about to say we've got no more, but we do have this one. Six turns, mobile tactics. So we're going to be done on turn 192. It's kind of crazy considering the start. And then we can just probably work research. If we work research, we might be able to get the victory time down a turn. So we'll queue that up. Then there is John Ju's nuke. Sleep there in Ragusan territory. We can actually go up here. Sleep these nukes. Oh, we actually can get it down to five turns as well. That's good. We'll do that. Greece is now allies of Vancouver. I just, I just revoked my pledging. We are now allies of Vancouver. And allies of Buenos Aires. I have to wait for a turn here. Spaceship Park goes on in Carthage. That's got us to four. And there's the fifth. And then the sixth will come when we finish Oxford in four turns. It'll be for particle physics. Oh, okay. Oh, great one. My hope is that you will long serve as paragon of strength and virtue for lesser leaders such as myself, says Alexander the Terrible, who built the Manhattan Project first, by the way. 
I might be able to sail this thing around the north, actually, because I want to see if I can get all of these cities. This one can cover the, the south in Ragusa. Five special parts done, and mobile tactics in three. Perfect. And another nuke in Saltwater Bay. Now we just need to make sure we don't go unhappy. Apparently that is not the way. Lasa doesn't have anything unique, sadly. Cool. Oh, John G's taking damage. You want to cover all his cities in nuclear fire? Are we the baddies? <laughs> Maybe. I am trying to get them all. I mean, we're not going to be able to get Amsterdam, but we will be able to get the rest for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're not going to be able to reach Amsterdam, but we can reach all his other four cities. Well, four. Of, we'll get four of his six. That's what we're going to do. We can vote world ideology freedom, even though our core delegate is down voting it. And of course, don't forget, we're going to nuke Daegu. Because it's an abomination. We're being denounced by France. How over are we going to be for one turn? We're over by 200. Our oh, world ideology freedom failed. Did we just get embargoed? Okay. Right, well... Because if we finish Oxford and go unhappy and then don't manage it, but we should be fine because we got 200 spare. Now only 188 spare. This should be fine. Yeah, we're within range of everything now. There's nothing like nuking Alex to light up the October gloom. <laughs> exactly. We're going to be having a bit of fun. We're going to nuke Korea as well. 191 we're going to be done then. This did not feel like a 191 game at the start with the two cities, the combos, then the crossbows and then all the unhappiness, but it is. Particle physics. Buy the last part. It just kind of occurred to me. Let's buy a bomb shelter in the capital just in case Alex is just like chilling off our shore with a nuke to kill, to kill the SS engine. Salt was just great though. Yeah, Salt was brilliant. It's a great city, Saltwater Bay. Like, free salt. Plains marble, stone, cattle. Great city. And even had access to plenty of civil service farm tiles with hanging gardens and Parthenon, no less. Sorry, not sorry, Greece. Sparta, get nuked. Noob. Athens, get nuked. Still noob. Rotterdam, get nuked. Oh dear, Alex, you're, you're taking a bit of a beating there, mate. Corinth, get nuked. Yes. So Alex's empire is now a nuclear wasteland. <laughs> Whoops. And, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Korea. I've nuked Daegu. Yeah, oops. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've nuked our own salt, but it's okay. Oh, and John Chu as well. Oh dear. Oh, no. Korea's empire is literally a nuclear wasteland. And I'm going to shoot his cannon with a rocket artillery just for insult to injury. Stealth. We've got 10 unhappiness. But it doesn't matter. Because next turn we're winning. Oh, hey, look. I'm even going to kill his writer. Because next turn we are out of here. <laughs> Oh, lol. He, he destroyed our carrier as revenge. We lost Antwerp somehow. Oh, because we, we nuked Antwerp while we were nuking Daegu. That's why we weren't unhappy with 10. But this is it. So ignoring the nuclear wasteland of Korea, who we took revenge upon again. 
for the we're going to call it the gross forward settle of boost gross forward settle of busan water bay even though it was a totally legitimate settle our korean capital of salt water bay we've got korea's religion of course in our cities and our own cities of carthage and unique water bay turned into a 191 turn science victory which i was really not expecting but i guess these were some good cities that we took over and it really helped that Carthage and Unique Water Bay grew quite hard. I thought we were going to be in a little bit of trouble in the mid game because there was just no saving the happiness. But it turns out this empire had more than enough happiness. And it was a sub 200 turn science victory despite the fact that we went two cities, combo war, crossbow war. So GG. Oh, thanks for the GG, Scott. Thanks for the GG night. But also welcome to the stream, Scott, with the pog faces about the Greek new king. Winning the World's Fair did... Oh yeah, winning the World's Fair was probably the biggest thing. It made sure we had tons of culture. So that I feel like that was pretty important. Although, in the end, with the amount of writers that we had, I think we had enough culture anyway, because we'd have just built the Hermitage. But it made our life so much easier. Thanks for the GG, Albus Boy. Time, or TYM, OJB, Rastafuai, thank you. Nizza, thank you. And GG, Alex, lol. <laughs> yeah, thanks for nuking Greece. My pleasure. It's nice to have a little bit of fun when you've got the spare gold. Managed to keep a lot more happiness mid-game due to ideology pressure. Yeah, I guess that's true, actually. The World's Fair did help with that. Quite a lot. So it, it might have helped to rescue a few points of happiness, you're right. Although we did have control of it eventually. Because we had enough to stomach the minus 20 once we got that this, this policy for happiness from banks and stock exchanges. And then allying up all the city-states with Arsenal of Democracy really was really a big deal. I can't see... Oh, I can't see Daegu to shoot it. Lol. <laughs> Minus 130 damage on Daegu. <laughs> but that be the end of the game. Here we go. Dido has won. I always have a good run at it at Dido, actually. Last time I played Dido, it was a ridiculously fast science victory. Despite the fact that I wasn't even doing scientist saving. I always have a good bit of luck as Dido. Demos. Will be remembered as long as the stars burn in the night sky. There we go. Top production is pretty wicked. Fourth in crop yield, but that's to be expected. We stagnated for, for maximum production and science. Fourth in soldiers, that's because we dropped all of our nukes, otherwise we would have been top. And of course, top in tech, which is where we wanted to be. The strength of the free harbors. Exactly, it's the free harbors. Number one in free harbors, Carthage. Really? This was this was not an Abraham Lincoln victory. How on earth, game, could you think this is an Abraham Lincoln level victory? We didn't even get Hammurabi. We own someone else's capital. I don't know what the deal is with that. I felt like we definitely earned Caesar there. Nizza says I usually have nice games with Dido. It's the free harbors. I'm telling you, it's the free harbors. Everything. OJB's been saying it. I I would preach it too. Maybe it's the free harbors. I don't know, I just always seem to have a nice game as Dido. The funny thing is, last time I played Dido, I only had three coastal cities as well. So, But three harbours. You know, who can, who can beat it? Then we can replay the map to see how it all went down. So here's where we started, down here in our little, in our little area. We need a VAR check on that Lincoln thing, exactly. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know, VAR stands for Video Assistant Referee. It's currently used in the Premier League. For judging fouls and things like that in football slash soccer, whatever you want to call it. Need a check on the Lincoln thing. It's, def it's definitely Augustus Caesar. How, how can you not get Augustus Caesar if you own someone else's capital that had three wonders in it? And all that population. And we built a couple of wonders ourselves too. So we settled our second city turn 23. That was lucky. If we'd been one turn later, we wouldn't have got this city down. Korea was going to settle it. That would have been even more egregious. But instead they had to turn away and then we, we promptly stole the settler and started war. Which we wanted to do anyway, but we stole the settler for funds. And then we just got ready to do our combo rush. It wasn't that much of a combo rush. We prepared our cities with cargoes to each other and lighthouses each to make sure that they could grow and explode while we were doing the war. Which is exactly what we needed to do, otherwise it wouldn't have gone very well. So about now I think we start comboing Busan. Yep, yeah, and we've taken Busan by turn 60. We start work on the Circus Maximus that we built before National College because we were unhappy. And then we just bide our time with peace, waiting for machinery so that we can crossbow Korea. And when do we land the crossbows? We land the crossbows on turn 
87 we take careers capital which is actually pretty soon for crossbowing now i think about it ojb says i just made the connection that busan went left because the right city was the desert one yeah that, that is why busan went left in fairness understandable we had just about settled that city like uh, korea settled that city a while a while before they died actually i just didn't notice but 80, turn 87 we take this city which is a great time to take a city by the way that's why this city of seoul went so well because we took it on turn 87 usually when we're doing frigates we're taking cities turn 105 ish turn 110 which means a lot later it's like you get the same amount of buildings but fewer turns to have to build the rest of the buildings in so it was really good to take that city turn 87 that's probably why everything went so well because we capped the city on turn 87 even if it plunged us into much more unhappiness we were basically unhappy from turn 60 to turn about 100 <laughs> But all the early growth really helped. And then it was just a classic four city sim to science victory. Turn 191. Which I'm actually really pleased with given how the game started. Two cities into comp bows into crossbows. Before any of workshops, civil service or universities is like... You know, it's, it's kind of... I, I did not expect it to be turn 191 basically. So John says save our souls. Oh no. <laughs> I like it. I, I face one, but I, I, I enjoyed that one, Nizza. And I'll look, here, here's where we general to make sure we got our salt for Saltwater Bay. Just city spamming, really. No city exchange. When did William die? So William, William founded his initial three cities and then lost his first city on turn 57. And then Greece raised one and then captured the other two by turn 84. And then here's how the game ended. Unfortunately, it doesn't depict the nuclear wastes that are Korea or Greece. But, you know, we, we, we remember it. Can you replay it one more time? I want to see Willy. Yeah, we'll see how, how Willy got on. No time for a Wilgrimage today. And got killed far too soon by OP Greece. Died by turn 84. Did Greece rebuild the Willy raised city by one tile? Might have done, actually. Yeah, he did in the end. He raised it and then rebuilt it one tile upwards. Yeah, one one he, re, he rebuilt it one tile to the north east in the end. Raise and rebuild. Might as well have just kept it there. I mean, I don't, I don't really subscribe too much to the raise and replant. Yeah, I know, genius, exactly. I don't really I don't really subscribe too much to the whole raisin replant thing. I feel like when you go through the effort to kit to take a city, you need you know the buildings and the pop that you get from the city that <laughs> more like will garbage today, but it's tough to start near Alex, I agree. I feel like if you go through all the effort of building all that military, because building military makes your existing cities worse, right? Because you're not building buildings that make the city better. You're building units which makes your which make your existing cities worse. So I feel like when you're building stuff to make your existing cities worse, you have to make the empire better. Because if you raise a city and then rebuild it, it's even worse than if you'd settled a city after National College, you know, when you do those late expansions who, that are already terrible. And so you're just sort of voluntarily getting a more terrible city after screwing your own cities, which you wouldn't even have done if you just settled a plain straight up city after the National College. So I much prefer to, when I take cities, I much prefer to hold on to them because they start with a few, but especially on Deity, you get tons of, you get plenty of buildings on Deity because Deity AI can spam buildings like no tomorrow. So I prefer to keep cities so that I get the buildings, I get the pop and at the cost of building a courthouse. Seems reasonable and that way you get like a head start in pop, you get a head start in buildings as opposed to having to do the raise and rebuild, which is worse than both keeping the city and if you had just done a straight up expand after the National College because it screwed over your capital instead. So I'm quite a big fan of keeping cities. Like if I'm going to war, I'm going to keep the cities that I take. Which is why you you never see me raise and rebuild for that reason. I mean, we could have raised and rebuilt that Busan, but I'm pretty sure Busan was... I mean, we were going to put it like right there anyway. We, we only wanted to originally put our third city on the coast because we needed three coastal cities because then we could have six total trade routes between our own cities and get all the, all the beautifulness of cargo ships. But once we were taking Seoul, we didn't need that city to be coastal anymore. So there would have been a perfectly fine spot 
if we we're going to put it anywhere different, yeah, maybe you might have considered it. But again, you got to consider the fact that you get a head start on the buildings and the pop. Which is, which is why you never see me raise and rebuild. I always like to keep and hold. If you've ever watched a bit of the No Quitters multiplayer group, you'll always see... you can always, They can always tell when someone's a bit of a newer player because they're raising cities that they've captured. Because on, like, Lek mod, it's so easy to stay happy. And if you actually invest in war and make your own cities rubbish, you have to hold those cities. Because otherwise, you've basically given yourself no gain. But yeah, um, Time asks, which Civ will you be playing on the next stream? Don't know. If you've got any suggestions, you can always join. If you're part of the Discord, you can suggest on the Discord. I generally choose a bit spontaneously. But if there are any requests... I tend to consider them quite strongly. I mean, we mostly play... If someone's requesting a sieve, more often than not, we play it. Unless it's because Black Vegetable was suggesting Aztecs, because Veg always suggests Aztecs. And we just recently played Aztecs, but apart from that, 